Yeah, now we saw before here. Yeah, sometimes it just takes a little bit to catch up. Okay, well, we clicked the live button, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. Um, I'm so excited for today. Has it been like a month since I've come on live? Because it feels like that every time. Oh, no. But um, I guess it's only been a week again, and kind of jealous of mom for being able to talk to you guys all the time on the live. You can do Maybe it. I'll start doing that too. <laughs> So today is super exciting. Um, we have a brand new way of ordering. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna explain it really simply, but um, anything that is confusing or whatever, we have four people on right now. We've got Sawyer, Mom, Jean, and Logan, um, all ready to answer any questions or issues that you have with that. So any questions you can just obviously type in the comments during this chat, but um, we also have our email up and ready. So that's liveshopadvantage.com. So you can, we're gonna keep our email up as well during this whole live. So you can just send us a quick email too if you're having any issues. Um, and we're needing you to use the email instead of the Facebook DMs because of this new cart checkout process. Um, that's gonna be filling up our messenger. So if you message us on our direct message, we won't really see it um, because it's gonna be flooded with all of your carts and cart purchases. So if you have a question, comment it, or you can um, email us. We're gonna have both of those up. Super flooded with all of their purchases. Yes, because so many people are gonna buy today. <laughs> um, but we have so much gorgeous stuff. Um, we've been so gung-ho lately. We've been getting our designs done like a week prior. Um, and that's what this week was. We designed every, most everything last week actually because we were so pumped. But um, everything goes amazingly with this Moon Glow Glimmer paint set. Uh, which I kind of had a heyday with, I'm not gonna lie. Um, came up with some really cool new techniques. So gonna be showing you some of that. Um, Did you hear what Peggy said? What? Your hair looks fantastic. Yes. Ah, thanks. <laughs> I like there's, the darker. There's this um, brand called Overtone and you can just, instead of using like a box dye that destroys your hair, it's kind of like a healthy hair mask. And so you can do all these fun colors and they just last like two weeks. So that's what I use. Um, so thank you. And yeah, let's see how today go, uh, goes. I think it's going to be really cool to use this new system. So all you guys have to worry about today is Ainsley is going to be putting up the code on the screen. And um, the most important part is that you comment the code exactly as it's shown. So like if there's, it'll say like cart, is that the yeah, way it goes? usually cart and a number. Cart 100, mm -hmm. there, there'll be like, I think cart starts with capital C and then you need a space in there and then the number. So as long as it um, exactly matches, it should load up. And all I ask is that you check your mass messenger chat after you add something by commenting. And so checking your messenger chat and then it will start to give you some instructions. It's way more simple than um, you need to worry about. And again, if you have a question, just ask the team and it should be good. Also, I have the comment pinned um, for all of the directions too, if you wanna just look through that as well before you ask questions. Um, otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. One okay. thing we didn't talk about is how we want to, um, which order we want to go in today. Oh, I have it. It's or right. you can just tell me what, I mean, I have it, but is that the order that you want to go? That is the order. Okay. Also, the Bye. email is at the bottom of the screen. Yes, yes. live shop so, at vintage. Vintage com. So if you have any issues, just email us. Don't DM us, email us. Correct. Correct. Said she's you can also comment. Florida. Yep. Come oh, also. Back on the yes. So cool. I know. Oh, I can see comments here. Do you mind if I tip this towards yeah, me ahead. a little? You just oh, Monica has a good me, question. So. I'm going to answer. If you guys have any questions about the carts, we're not going to answer it live. We're going to answer it right 
responding to you. So I'm going to I'm going to respond to you, Monica. Also, yes. we are live on YouTube right now, too. Oh, oh, yeah. So if any of you guys are YouTubers and prefer that way, you can watch us there. But probably can't comment from YouTube, right? Oh, I think to purchase. I think you can. We'll see how we'll that see. goes. We'll see yeah. how it works. Yeah. This is our first time, so we're going to have a lot of lot of learning here. All righty. So what else do we want to talk about besides how everyone's doing? Can I scroll through? Ooh, yeah. nice. Let's talk about your gorgeous jewelry that you're wearing. What is that? Yeah, so I am wearing um, parts of the paint jewelry kit. So, and it's kind of like a mix between, we've been wanting to bring them back around to kind of going more pendant driven, but this one did end up being kind of like a jewelry collection again, because we can't stop designing but you can totally just use them all as components. So this is only, believe it or not, half of the kit. And how much is that um, today? Oh, it's right here. You've got that for me already. It is $48. So everything I'm wearing, plus another pair of earrings, of another finished bracelet, a bracelet centerpiece, uh, two more pendants, three more pendants. 10 pieces. So 10 piece jewelry collection kit. For 48 bucks so that's what I'm wearing I did this really cool effect which I plan on getting to today is this kind of I should have looked up the um, like technique name it's not a technique though I kind of made up the technique but the look well, is like, like a when a pearl when you build a pearl on top of um, like metal or you're something in the ocean inlay. you're acting like an oyster mac you're yes, exactly. Pearl. Yes, layers yes. And layers and layers. So pretend a oyster snatched up one of the our jewelry blanks or one of our um, brass blanks. So it ate it, and then now it's building a bunch of pearl on top of it. So that's kind of the butterfly, and we've got all this pearl strand, and we're gonna be doing some dyeing on this fabric. So, yeah, those are kind of the main things. Um, Ainsley, we're probably not going to do too much on your charm bracelets, but I'll go through them and explain, like, because your layout looks perfect for those. So I'll just right. go through the order of those. I wish I was wearing them today so I could be jingling around, but you bracelets. laid them out for, like, half an hour, so I didn't oh want to touch gosh. them. It was <laughs> fine. It was just trying to, I was trying to find the right prop to lay them out. Yeah. That's what took so long. You know what? These are so gorgeous. I love what you do. Except here. we should put it on screen if we're talking about yeah, it. I let's hate do doing it. that to the ladies. Let's do also, it. Also, the I comments here. We want to um, make sure no one gets the FOMO. If if this is blue, yes. it's from Facebook. If it's red, like up here, oh, that's see how her name's red, it's YouTube. Cool. So, do you want to change over the screen since we yep. were just talking about the bracelet? There we go. So these are the two bracelet stacks. And aren't they gorgeous? I'm actually gonna bring them even closer. So this is a set, and then this is a set. Oh, Monica is asking something that I can answer. The OAKs, we're going to do the way we've always done, and we're not going to do an automatic checkout for the OAKs. Oh, okay. Just so y'all know, we're going to, um, there's a, just a special way, and we'll make sure that you get it. I think they're just, okay. you're, we're going to let you add, once you see a star on your OAK that you want it, then we'll let you add it to your cart. At that point, it'll have a code and we will remember who you were, extract yep. the comments. We got that all figured out. I can't out. decide which one I like better. Dana, I was just typing that out. You were, so I... That's okay. I love <laughs> both of these bracelets and I would will, wear them together. You will not be charged any additional shipping at all. We will refund you. We will make sure no one gets charged any additional shipping. We want to make this process really great for you. We'll refund it, combine, everything. So the, these are the Pixie Wishes three bracelet. Um, oh, this one. Which one's which? Pixie, Pixie is top. Wishes, and this is Raspberry Treasures. Cute. 
Very cute. Okay, but we'll put those codes up on the screen later. I just wanted to show you what we were talking about so you guys weren't like just Confused. picturing randomness. So, yeah, and then besides that, we've got um, two design mixes Ainsley's done, the $35 ones that sell out super quick. And I'm doing 10 OAKs at the end of the sale. Uh, and again, we will be just having you comment and we'll invoice you those separate. Is that right? You want to know what would be rude? Yes. No, I mean, they're probably going to go through the card. We've got it figured oh, out. Oh, still go through the but card. But I just okay. wanted to let you guys know we might consider doing, this sounds crazy, but we might consider doing free shipping on all of our lives. Ooh. And then we don't even have to worry about any shipping fees at all. So that would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, make it a lot easier too. Oh, these have two I know. Well, I'm That's thinking so I'd rather give them free shipping than pay all of our shipping employees to consolidate all the. You know what I mean? Wouldn't you rather pass on the free shipping? Yeah. Than pay it in salary to combine everybody. <laughs> you just have to figure out how to technically make that Sh zero work. It'll just be zero shipping. Yeah. If you if you assign five dollars to shipping, you can assign assign zero. Cool. Like I do it all the time because I do tons of the invoicing. So I'm excited. Let's let's really talk about that because I I think I really want to do that. I think that would be. We do give some of you guys free shipping when your order's over two hundred dollars. Anyhow. So everybody, Hello. just spend over two hundred dollars <laughs> and make it really easy on us. <laughs> right. It wouldn't be hard to do. do. A threshold and it would automatically do it. Absol absolutely, absolutely. Right. The sh yeah. threshold. Everyone like says that bucks. would be wonderful yeah. and amazing. So just make it like fifty dollars or something. Something, like that. yeah. So some sort of minimum. Not have minimum. any yeah. products up yet, so you won't be able to see any carts yet. Yes, yeah. don't worry about the product. Yep. We will let um, you know yet. once once we get there. Um, oh, oh yes, Cindy. <laughs> so guys, it's coming. We're excited. Should we get rid of this? Well, it's screen? yeah, it's sitting right there. It's so cute. All right, you we want to go orders? through our paint Look. kit. Okay. There you go. I love that Ainsley. It's so beautiful. Sucker is so heavy. Yeah, it's yeah, heavy. Thing. I mean, <laughs> it's the prettiest ever. But you had quite a few pre-orders. So this is the this. rest of the. These are all the bonuses besides what I'm wearing for the jewelry collection, which is like so much already. Hey, Mackie. I loved how idea. mom did this. This was so cool. Here you go. I'm going to have oh, you hey, I'm actually wearing that wear bracelet. this as this? you take this everything one. off. Oh, cute. Mac, I'm going to have you wear this oh, right. as you take everything else off. Of the... Well, I'm just tiny in the screen right now, so. Whoops. Uh-oh. Didn't have a clasp on it, so I just like actually tied it. Oh, I should have I tied both of my necklaces to Oh, okay. By the way, when you paint this silk, it's a little crunchy. So you got to actually just massage it, which I haven't done yet. So. Oh my gosh, mom. Someone yeah, okay, wait, I got to go. go. I love the dyed silk, and I especially love it when it's painted. I love this necklace so much. This one, not the purple one. You can do. You might want to zoom out a little bit so it all fits. Not you. Oh. Hers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot on that screen. So my whole body fits. <laughs> <laughs> I like how mom thought Ainsley was talking <laughs> to her. <laughs> For a second, I was like, "What?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> I loved those two stacked together. Okay, now I still have to pull off the earrings. And um, we could probably put the coat up now, right? Yep, Ainsley, okay. you go for it. And do you want to put the earrings on too? What? I'll give you a different pair of earrings to wear. Oh, yeah, whatever. Like a past pair. I'm okay, pretty guys, small in the this camera. is cart 100. All right, so. If you want to buy this comment, cart 100. Comment cart 100, and then um, if you, they've got to do it correctly with the capital C, right? And then space 100. Yeah, just yep. do it as exactly, exactly as it's shown. 
Yeah, and then um, go to your messages on Facebook Messenger, and then you will see your cart, and it will pull up there. Dang, I can't stop staring at all this stuff. Here's I want to be better about um, these are actually... pulling these into frame. So, yeah, that's why I said you might want to zoom out just because there's a lot. There's so much gorgeous stuff. And I always forget to like pick up and hold each one of these things. Good pumpkin. These are a kit yeah. okay. on our live. So they will go beautifully with your piece. On our live shop, there's a kit in there. There's the swooping swallow, I think. Okay, well, they're, I'm like probably a millimeter big to them right now. Mm -hmm. They probably can't even see it. So we can talk so about pretty. that later. Okay, so mm -hmm. this... I loved so we pulled that same um shoot I just saw the name of it too on something of this um stone the gemstone and I forgot it but it's gorgeous that's all that matters so that one um is included that was just in our last week's to that piece down there these I love how mom painted those looks like you just did an ombre from is that chalcedony i mean cal chalcedony chalcedony both chalcedony. it's both i can say chalcedony yeah. peggy said i could or so i'm gonna okay. i'm not gonna do the sydney thing it's too much of a departure from what i've always said so i can at least just change it to c True. chalcedony turquoise and petalite cool yeah, I love that. And then I did put in the very top little tiny pit bit, I put rose gold. Okay. And then I bordered it with um, rose gold very on the cool. outsides. It's a fun little overage. Oh, you want to know what love those are? these as well. That's just moon glow and the two iridescents. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's a winning combo. Because they already were white, but then... Um, just also made it look like that oyster snatched those up in its yeah they was mouth they too. were kind of creamy with um some stuff inside but doesn't that aren't those just incredible uh yes the moon our moonstone with the two iridescents is the most magical pearl effect it's just you which can't is get that's what it. I used on this whole um technique today this is going to be so fun because we're kind of like frying the um paint to get that bubbling look and this is also using those same colors just with rose gold added love that that's going to be such a fun technique this is the same technique just with a little um different color combo just did the scarab wing and i think antique bronze but i can i can take a look at that in a sec so yeah i just loved that um built up pearl effect so much i just wanted to keep on going and going with it is that everything oh these were really cute um leather earrings they come with gold and aqua and I thought they just looked like the prettiest little shell earrings, especially if um, heavy earrings bother you at all. Actually, all the earrings in today's jewelry kit are super easy to wear, super lightweight, but those are especially crazy lightweight. You could run a marathon with those. You wouldn't even know you were wearing them. <clears throat> okay, whoops. So, oh, and look how cute. Forgot to talk about this guy. I did a little, <clears throat> it's not a carving, it's actually a clay sculpture, tiny clay sculpture that we then cast and um, just made that cute little octopus bead. And it's sitting on a couple of uh, shells that look like rocks in at the bottom of the ocean. So I thought that was extremely cute <laughs> and special. All right, well, I am going to get started painting this kit because I'm way too excited to just sit here and keep blabbing away. So let's get this, my handy silicone. Oh, 
always like to put a little pretty corner up in the Should we top of the screen. Should we showing them the paint code and that code? Do we want to change to the paint code right now? And then swap yeah, it that back? Way, Why not? That I, way we have the code. Yep, because we're painting yeah. right oh, now, so. Yeah. Okay, we're going to pop the paint code onto screen for everybody. We can just swap, we can just periodically swap the two of them so that. I'll let you know if we're going to make a swap. So we're putting the paint code onto the screen so that you can add that into your cart as well. Again, any questions about today's new process, go ahead and just comment and we'll take care of it. You can also email it if you want it for sure to get answered right away. I'm just gonna group some of these awesome things onto screen. But the thing I'm most excited about is showing you the pearl technique. So I'm going to do that first. Can I just say how pretty this layout you're making is right now? Oh, thanks. <laughs> so pretty. Hey. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do the full pour of your kit so you can just see how much, just how much is coming in your uh, jewelry collection. Becky, there's just a tiny little question from a lot of people, so I'm going to answer it really quick. Okay. You guys, when you, um, after you comment, cart 100 or whatever it is, you're going to open your messenger and you're going to add it to your cart, then close the view. That's it. Each time, open your messenger, you'll get a little bot and you'll add it to your cart, then close your view. <clears throat> Still got to add. It won't sit in your cart until you open your messenger and you officially add it. The, the prompt, the cart prompt that you put in, the cart comment, actually initiates the cart process. So it's kind of cool that way. You're kind of just saying, cart 100, and it opens it up, and then you add it, and then you close your view, and it keeps accumulating. Fine. You can also check out anytime. Thought that might help. Wow, look at all yeah, that stuff. I was thinking there. the same doesn't thing. It, it looks just crazy. Look, doesn't it look like There's you just so much stuff. got done scuba diving for the day and found this crusty box at the bottom we could also of the ocean? Um, so crazy. <clears throat> we could also do a little label um, that we could pop on the screen that shows the kit so we can have both at the same time. You know, the pink kit. Um, I'm just thinking about how to keep two up when we have multiple people coming in. Okay, so I've got these two butterfly blanks here, which we're going to build up first. That's gonna be our first little guy, but quickly I just wanted to show you all of your treasures from this $48 jewelry collection. It is huge and amazing. I loved the pop of bright aqua in the set today. I thought that was huge and awesome. I love the copper, especially in the necklace, like how you like, you like wire wrapped it, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah I'm show it that looks too. really I'm good. I'm so excited to show you guys. It's just like a faux wire wrap. Um, yeah, I a little love bead. It. It's very so. vibey. Yeah, I thought it was fun. All right, looks like I got a lot of that awesomeness on screen. Um, so yeah, this is what you can look forward to in your jewelry collection coming to you in the mail. And let's start with this cutie little butterfly. So I'm gonna just move a couple of these things over. Create a little bit of visual space. It'll be hard to do since there is so much today. All right, so let's just start with one of these butterflies. I'm gonna do a little zooming. You can swap back to the kit now because we're just gonna. Um... We want to swap yeah. back to the kit. Yeah, because yeah. I'm gonna. You're not tell painting yet. For the whole day, cart, she is. Cart one hundred one is the pink. Is the pink set? Yeah, we just want. Um, 
we were just talking about how to best do that. Well, do, next time we're going to put a little sticker up for the paint we set. We might make it like so a, it stays oh, on the footer. Okay, yeah. Like we might make yeah. it part of the footer because we're featuring it all day. Because the paint set is smart. Yeah. Because yeah. we can't show two at a time. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now, these, if you can see me in the top tiny corner of your screen, I've got this mind melting helmet that I'm going to put on my head and fry my brains out with today and then I'm going to blow dry my hair until it all fries off. <laughs> Just like, kidding. So Monica likes how there's a picture of the product that they're putting the coat in for. I do love that. Oh feature. yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's, it's super really, nice. Then they know exactly you know exactly what, their, what you're typing um, for. So yeah. Okay we've got our handy dandy um, alien brain melting helmet that we're going to use for our UV lamp. And we're gonna be using this with our paints, the heat it tool, which is very used and loved. Um, so I'm actually going to be painting, uh, doing the resin first, bunch of layers, getting this really nice and thick, curing that resin a couple of times then I'm gonna do a little layer of paint and just fry it up with this um, heat tool. So I'm super excited to get going. And I was so excited this today that I didn't even show a um, large view of the paint set. But do we also have a picture of that? Yes, that's what you say. When the paint set comments featured and Ainsley can switch back and forth she can put yep. now that you're talking about it she can go back in the paint set just for a minute and show that all those pictures will show it right next to the paint set cool then she can do you go want me back to, to the moon glow bring flutter. it back to you full screen if yeah you just for a sec up. so I can okay. hold them up and just show we've got what is it nine nine okay and they're mostly so. but mostly specialty that's right because usually it's 10 so we yeah. did nine because um there are so many specialties and only yeah, three six. colors today yeah. so basically think of it as a specialty metallics paint um kit with three color additives so that's kind of how it's going to work today we're using the colors as the accessory to the um, metallic and shimmer. So, Mackie, Peggy Mackie. said that helmet that you're talking about is the latest trend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so true. Indeed. Okay. The only thing I'm going to put the you to work and make you is your counselor. stab. <laughs> therapist, yeah. Your therapist. I did I'll put, shake them up. I thought I put one here. But now I just need you to pull the. Monica While I'm doing resining, just poke them out. Mackie, yesterday, yesterday Monica was watching our test live and she was just chuckling at us. Oh, I know. <laughs> because part of her job was testing and implementing new software for oh. property management at two major airports. Oh, jeez. I'll bet they had some fun BTS <laughs> conversations. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, that would be a wild, wild job, huh? Yeah. Okay, you could probably go back now, Just Ames, wherever. and on the um, on the other view, the glimmer. Back set. to the paint okay. set. Okay, so what I'm actually doing right now is this is a fun way to kind of ensure that you don't have to worry about keeping your hole open while you're doing this super thick resin because that has the tendency to spill into the hole. So what I actually do is start out with a jump ring and I just prop it up like that and so really nice and centered and um oh, oh, that so it just fuses right to your blank. Mackie Chris said the checkout is easy peasy. Yay! You guys really can Amazing. check out however you want but you can also let your card accumulate. We will accommodate whatever is comfortable for you. I'm so glad you guys love it. The Tourist, Renee. I am obsessed with The Tourist. That show? Oh my Except gosh. for the main guy is so ugly, though. I can't oh, yeah. watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Such a mod. He's the, um, the actor? Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know his name. He's but hot. He's in a few things. He's, he's so, so good looking. Classic, classic women of my family. I don't know his name, but he's hot. <laughs> well, first things first, man. True. Who cares about the name? It's all I know is, is, that, is that if all of us women were men, we would be kind of jerks. Actually, <laughs> when it comes you know to what? That is so true. good looks. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So we fun. just don't get called out for it because we're normally like the the target. Yeah. I mean, me especially. <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh, you guys. What the heck? It's because that's the way you said it. Yeah, it yeah. is. <clears throat> okay, okay. Not the actual that I'm not the target, right? Of course not. Yeah. Course what? Not. We all know. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, <laughs> Becky came from you. You know better. That's so, true. All that matters is that Ben thinks I'm cute. True that. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about the three body problem one. I don't know if it's. Can I steal that? Oh, you're still using the poker. I'm so, I'm so I, there's another. Here. There's more in there. Yeah, right. lots more. Oh, so. you're talking Her, about. Don't um, even worry about it. The comment about the three body problem. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that the I show or whatever? Seen, I haven't seen, seen it, but could, maybe I will. Yeah, yeah. Check it looks in. interesting. I'm actually um, just picking out the bubble. Like, it's funny because it actually pulls out the bubble and puts it on here. Um, little eye pin. As long as it's just brass, though. So you have to wipe your resin off and then it'll pop it. There we go. All right, so now I am just getting my first, as thick as I possibly can make it without it spilling over the edge so probably like five millimeter maybe let's let me look at my ruler I bet it's about no 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 not five I'm I'm tripping three, three millimeter thick maybe two hey, and Mac, if maybe you're like, like me and, and you always spill do you think you could do this in like a couple of steps that's what I'm doing right now I mean even more steps if we were very cautious sure okay and it's so okay. it doesn't really matter. You're just building bodies. Even right if now. it spills, it's fine because you can clip it off the sides. So I may spill on accident, but I'll show you that that's fine because we actually like that crustier, more imperfect look. So totally fine if it spills. Yeah, it match me. <laughs> imperfect. Crusty and perfect. Crusty, <laughs> crusty and imperfect. <laughs> that's the word of the week because that's how I describe the jump rings so that I was. Oh, crusty. crusty. That's funny. Yeah. So it's now dangerous. this is going to be our first um, pass with the UV lamp. So I just made sure because this is going to fuse that jump ring in place. So I made sure that was all propped up perfectly. Now let's bring this on screen. And probably gonna do the 60 seconds because decently thick um, amount of resin going on, on there. So, what's up guys? Now that I have a whole minute to kill. <laughs> Let's see if anybody has comments rolling through. Well, yeah. okay. we have a little side comment going about how okay, when you're nice. a woman and you're super assertive, you're considered a corporate B. Oh, yeah. And, but you know, men are like assertive. Oh, he's so assertive. And women are like, what a me? I don't like assertive men, though. I'm more like a. Mm -hmm. You like chill? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. like assertive yeah. because word, passive to me. Submissive might be another word. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah. it depends what you perceive assertive as. Because to me, I perceive assertive as like a good thing. It just means you're being direct. But passive to me is stressful because it, like I think of like passive aggression mm. and like innuendos to like whatever they're saying. <laughs> and I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay, we got a little bubble here, which I'm happy about. Although it might go away on this next layer of resin. Um but anytime you can get the resin to kind of like, I don't know, go in different levels, it's really actually super pretty. I'm probably not gonna focus on that as much today. We're just gonna keep it more simple, but you totally could like, see how I just put resin on that side of Ooh, it? You yeah. could cure it and do all these different, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Levels and bumps. Yes, I love that. Make it look really authentic. Really and, baroque. Yeah, super bubbly and freshwater pearl looking, but I'm just going to focus on the task at hand. We do, we do have international shipping available. <clears throat> so what we do when we do international shipping is we... Um, we actually charge in a separate invoice at, or not actually charge, we sh charge actual shipping for us in a separate, separate invoice. So we'll invoice you the products, then we'll find out what actual shipping is, and then we separately invoice you for it. So you're not getting some outrageous estimated invoice. Right. Right. You know, we try to make it as reasonable as possible. And, you know, if you buy a lot, then we definitely, we still do free shipping. Sometimes. Coming through on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, yeah no, somebody no, was no. asking on YouTube. Okay. Like, so if yeah, you were, the, yeah, you if guys, you were to buy, like, yes. 200 plus, we'd, we'd probably just eat order. the shipping for you. Yeah, Is just, that what you're saying, Mom? Yeah, but maybe a little more be just because more. Oh, because it might orders. it might be like fifty dollars shipping sometimes. Yeah, we're so maybe like two fifty, it. two three hundred maybe. This and off we to would. Antarctica might be a little different. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it would be ever be three fifty dollars shipping. I think it'd be more like in the twenties. Yeah. yeah, twenty dollars something. But it's worth it because guys, everything that we sell on here is seventy five percent off. Yeah, she was saying she got hooked on our. Sizzix collaboration, oh, so yeah, yeah that, that was fun. Best. We just got our machine back. You can only find them on um, third, well, not third like party, eBay like and eBay and reselling, yeah, sellers, reselling yeah. at garage sales. Maybe <laughs> if you're really lucky, <laughs> really, awesome. really lucky. Garage sale finds, yeah. <laughs> you know, you never know how things go. I know, um. Uh, Spellbinders is a really great company, and you never know if we ever do some kind of collaboration. That would be fun to do. I'd love to do I'm that so again. I'm so much better in Illustrator now than I was when we did the original phone. And you were so Focus, good then. Right? I was just like, the art was good, but then you kind of limped along with it. Now, like, I can do both. So I'm like, woo, that would be fun. Mackie, so how is Susan your... Susan is asking about the brush you're using. Oh, uh, yeah, this is bit? just one of our silicone it's just the basic point out of our silicone brush pack um it's, i think we have we don't have it in our um comment codes but we have it on the website right because that's yeah, shipping yeah, that's from our vintage.com this will shop uh ship from our website um since we don't keep stock of those here all we keep stock of is all of our um super vintage and you know designs that we do here oh robin said she invited a new friend over here just today who's in need of some of your chains oh okay. we were gonna you know do what? chain pack we cuts. Still, i put them out we still can oh, do okay. the chain cuts we just, we just never added it to our i can add them really jean's quick. gonna, jean's gonna uh, add those so jean's we can do our these. sampler chain packs we mm -hmm. just got you guys are gonna like love this 60 pounds worth of new chain cuts can you want to explain what they are from our manufacturing yeah, so when we do our private labeling and do like a finished necklace, we have all these spool ends that are just just not quite the right length. So we end up with tons and tons of cuts. But those are usable. Those yeah, are the usable cuts. cuts as in like 12 inches plus. And some are, if it's a big chain, it could be 8 inches, but if the thinner ones could even be up to 24 inches. So jeans coming up with a code right yeah, we'll, now yeah, we don't that, we'll do that a little um, later. yeah in a little bit but just just for basic it's we're doing like four ounces of chain and it'll be thirty dollars thirty five adding it right now yeah and we'll each just, pack we'll will be we'll random circle, what chains we'll go in over that we'll circle around to that once we get this set up okay see look this Maybe spilled pop it on real quick. see how this spilled over the side now i'm just gonna be lazy and kind of Pull this back up roughly onto my piece just because I'm like I didn't have to do this other layer but I really wanted it to get super thick like it's been at the bottom of the ocean for a long time 
So it spilled over the side, but that's good because I can show you. Cracking it off. Yeah, how to crack it off, clip it off, and then file it. That's actually really fun to me because I love being able to fix like mistakes I made. It, I feel like empowered or accomplished or something. For sure. It is super um, satisfying too to clip, clip that. So we're gonna leave that. You um, just don't worry about it. I'll show you how to click it. Do you need click a it. file? I got one. Oh, awesome. Yep, there's Hi. Hey. So we liking this new setup then, guys. I think it's super, super profesh looking. Hey, Jean, is the resin on our website yet? It's on Vintage.com. Okay, yeah. you guys, get the resin because that little resin bottle is so cute. Was it six bucks? Five bucks? Six, six bucks? fifty, I think. Yeah. yeah. Perfect Go. amount of resin. It'll last you quite a few projects. Definitely worth six bucks, that's yeah. for sure. Um, what was I going to grab? We really should have put that resin in the paint kit this time. Because <laughs> you did your, your uh, pearl one. Well, we could still do this effect without resin, though. I mean, not the bubbling pearl, but still could be pretty on a blank, like I enamel. Your, I love your building Baroque pearl. That's so cool. Maggie, I was wondering if, could you... So see, quick, Mom, one sec. See how this... Um, when the reason why this is a little bit wet on the back is because some of it spilled behind the blank and um, the UV light can't hit through the blank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna wipe off any thing from the back with my paper towel. So just get rid of any of that. Okay, you can go ahead and say what you're saying. Well, I was thinking about how you did your owl. And remember how how beautiful that was? I was wondering if you could do that thin layer on some other things too. Like, could you do this um, same thing right on top of a, uh, just like a, Isn't that a what piece that has a pattern? Those? Yeah, but I'm thinking not the owl even. What if there's something that had a pattern, you didn't like it, and it's just like a piece? Couldn't you just add this to almost anything I'm that you have? i this again. Um, couldn't you just like add that to almost anything? Like for instance, um, here, let me just grab, let me just grab a piece from the bin. Okay. Okay. So let's say you had, uh, just a bunch of this coin. Actually, do you want to crack the window or the door so we can? Yeah. If you had a bunch no. of that coin, couldn't you, and you didn't like the face on it, couldn't you just do this right over the top of it and have that really cool base? Um, the bubbled up? Yeah. Yes, you wouldn't get any of the texture. No, not, not so the texture. So that's why if, I just use it on blanks. But if you hated it, like it was just like a, you know, just a dumb piece you didn't want anymore. Oh, yes, just... if it was like a cheesy weird thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then you could make it like really beautiful. That's, yes. Be totally. super fun just because I really love this resin pearl technique. And I don't, I don't necessarily want it to be limited to the, um, you know, limited to the yes, the to shape. the blanks or the shape or okay, whatever. Okay, so Anything now we're have. gonna clip. So now we're just taking our side cutters and just clipping. You'll kind of feel it pop and snip. It's okay if some of that pulls up a little bit because we're gonna cure it again and it'll fuse right back down to the piece. So. We're getting a good amount of that. It's even fine if you chip up into your piece because I kind of like like it when it is imperfect, imperfectly placed onto the blank, which I'm still tempted to add like that fresh, that classic freshwater pearl bubbling action. I think I'm gonna do it. I was trying to just stick to the original, but I gotta try it, we always do that. Always do that fun on the lives, things we haven't tried before. It's always fun to challenge um, ourselves on the lives because most of the time when we have a project, we've only done it once. So when we go to do it again, it's like, 
obviously it's going to be way better the second time around doing it because um, that's the way it goes. You already know the path. So that we got looking really good. I'm going to make a faux little, which do we have any freshwater pearls around? Oh, well, I'll so I look. Could, Every Most everyone resources. knows what a freshwater pearl looks like, but mom's gonna look. Yeah. I'm gonna do that where we just put a little stack and kind of pull like that type of thing. And I'm gonna make a big section over here of another yeah, layer. So you check your list like that, so probably. Are up in there now. I may, might even do a little bit so more than that. So. Okay, I'm looking. Freshwater pearls. I don't know if I have any over here, but we might have some in the pearl drawer. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're looking for the UV light? Yeah. Huh? I am. What UV light? I have it. No, no. Um, <laughs> the link for it. Oh, I was like, what? I'm using it right now. I know. A big one. Everyone so has just, a million on hand. Yeah, why don't we just show this like a regular? Look at this strand. Oh, ho, 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 ho. just show that texture up close. Yes, that's good enough. Maybe I'll try and achieve some of those lines too. Mm -hmm. So this is a big strand of vintage pearl. So like, see how the beauty of it is that it's imperfect. It's not just like a perfectly round pearl. And this is what I love the most about pearls is when they get, see like that pull right there, that kind of bubbling up. That's what I'm trying to do with the bubbles I'm about to make. They're not technically bubbles. They're just extra raised areas. This feels so good. I just want to wear it. That, I want to sleep on the it, pearls. That one is insane. It's knotted and... Lately, Ainsley, I love how you've been putting a couple of the vintage um, silk, like silk knotted pearl. Like yeah. you clip off yeah. four of them, and then they can take them off and yeah. restring them. Yep. But you'll you'll need to use a fine head pin, and we have those on our website. But oh, I, I love do like that, look. that line kind of thing that we saw on that pearl. So can I? to pull some lines through and then I'll do another big bubble just random whatever you decide to do for different texture on this I'm, also I'm gonna make it look real nice and like crusty too. Um, safety gla glasses recommended for the chipping off? I don't know. Probably not. They don't really fly off. Close your eyes. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Or like cover, so a lot of times, well, like when you're clipping a rivet or anything like that, I'll cut my hand over it so that. Yeah, um, they, the re resin doesn't fly because it just um, sticks to your so pliers. So, Mac, um, while that's in the middle of this curing people have been asking about this set and if they could see this code so Ainsley just for these can you put the raspberry um, okay treasures? we'll have to do one at a time but yes yeah. first we're doing this bottom one the raspberry treasure three bracelet complete set we'll just stay on here for one minute for that and you can talk about it and that's cart 102 I love that and then popcorn. it's this one has Deeper, more neutral colors. Um, very, um, we didn't want to go too red, and that's why we did more of that like raspberry color because we didn't want it to feel like Christmassy or Valentine's Day. We still wanted to keep it like raspberry. spring fuchsia. Yes, Magenta. exactly, exactly. But very classic <clears throat> feel to it with the different the mauve is what charms helps. on it. Yes. And do you, this is a Czechoslovakian vintage glass gold spun yes. button bobble that I think it just adds so much rich it dimension really does. with that opaque Not to mention glass. in both of these kits, they have the same fine bracelet. This is 10 karat gold. Plated, yeah. Plated. 
10 karat gold plated. And our plating is yes, double, double dip. So it's a little double bit standard. different than like what you're used to seeing. It's actually triple and or better quality. Quadruple dip. No, double this, usual is what you meant, right? Yes. Double than the standard mm -hmm. for, yes. for gold plated standards. More like a rolled gold. Now that um, the next bead over, Mackie, if you can put your finger on the next bead over, that is Swarovski. Yes. That's vintage Swarovski. Then the next bead over is a fun glass, beautiful ombre bead. And then if you go over to the next yeah, raspberry bead. Yeah, this one, bead, another vintage bead, that right? That's also very yes. vintage check. And these are all old stock. And um, this is a beautiful, brilliant cut uh, crystal bead, too. I love that. So yes. that is just yeah. a the chain bead. But we wanted to bring you something different. We were originally going to do this for a live drop, but we were like, actually, let's just give it to them on Wednesday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So I think that's a fun little preview of that. And then we'll come back to the next one in a little while. Oh, the other bracelet later. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Zoom Ooh, back in. I like how that's looking. Yeah, the bubbly. Now you're going to see it come to life. All right. So now going to make this turn into a magical pearl, Baroque pearl butterfly. So we're going to use moonstone, rose gold, and both of the iridescents. And I think that's all I used for this one in particular. So it's pretty simple. So moonstone, iridescent green, iridescent violet, and rose gold. So let me put those off to the side. And now this is the only paint layer that I plan on doing. You can totally do more than one layer if you feel like you need to, but you should be able to get it in one go. Oh my gosh, Maggie, and Peggy, while you're doing that, look yeah. what Peggy just said. She wants to know all about your necklace. But oh, all we're going to say about that okay. is that is a sneak peek of our Secret. upcoming Friday Live. It's, it's our new exciting vintage vintage vault. vault. VVV. Mm -hmm. Vintage vintage vault. Not triple. Gets the ladies, right? Triple. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets past. Ooh, she found it right? in our test live yesterday, too. She did. And what is that? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. So I like how you're just like layering that on directly. That just seems really instant gratification. Like we are going to do anything else. My gosh. Okay. Now I'm going to just fill in some rose gold. And basically my goal here is to just get mostly moonstone down with kind of hints of rose gold. And then... You can even start to blend little bits. Ooh, I'm so glad I did the different um, layers and chunks of resin first. That was fun. It looks really good. Yeah. All right, now let's pull some. These, now the iridescent violet and green, you have to shake those up more often because they've got a ton of like glaze property in it. Um, so you'll find yourself shaking those more often. So don't be um, surprised with that. Now I'm just kind of filling in extra little areas. You could totally decide, hey, I only want violet as my um, color with this. So you could stop at the violet, but I wanted to go super iridescent. Ainsley, with green. while Mackie's doing that, would you mind just popping up the code for this Pixie Wishes? Without showing it, if you could just put it on the code at the top of the screen. Yeah. And then we could just tell them what to. They've seen it. Yeah. You probably just. Yeah, and it will have the photo next to it. It has the it. photo next to it. You guys, we're just going to pop up Pixie Witches because some of you have been asking for that code to pre order. And we will or talk about it later. Tomorrow. Yep. A little later, too, as well. So these bubbles, I'm actually gonna leave yes. because you'll see wow. I was thinking the same thing and they look really good yeah and so watch when I pull the heat tool on what starts to happen just want to make sure I pull all around the side though first with the paint 
So when I was uh, coming up with some of the paint colors, um, yeah. some of the inspiration was these Baroque things. Yeah. So I'm Perfect. so glad you did this. Yay. <laughs> okay, here is our hair frying tool. <laughs> so this is perfect because it's going to get super hot and I'm going to just blast it. Actually, I did go on the low setting first Oops, so it doesn't do that. so it doesn't move around. So this is to just get that initial dry so you don't change the direction of some of your paint striations. So just kind of get that first little bit in place. Okay, it looks like nothing's moving. Now we're gonna heat blast it and just sizzle the junk out of it. <laughs> Monica, join the club with zero willpower. <laughs> yeah. That is like you're in good company here. Okay, see this bubbling here? This is good. We want all of that craziness to happen and sizzle. And the thing that makes this sizzle is the um, iridescence. That's the main one that fries and bubbles so well. So keep on going until it bubbles up and then eventually it will fuse back down to your piece. You'll hear this really nice, like, crackle, like, Rice crispy Treats in cereal. Oh, or not Rice crispy Maggie. Treats, but that Rice crispy me. Crackle. That made me want <laughs> Rice crispy Treats. So, this is actually amazing, because I think it's because I had a nice amount. Do not touch this with your hands, by the way. Grab it with a plier if we want to look. But look at this huge one that bubbled up here. I'm just going to tap that down just a tad with my silicone brush. This looks incredible, Mac. Yeah, because I want that. Like, I love that big, bubbly Can you explain really quickly the permanence of the paints? Uh, just that it For is. For newbies. <laughs> it's never going anywhere. For newbies. Newbie, newbie. Now this I'm gonna pull up to here. Um, yeah, our paints are, they are a, basically like a cold enamel paint. Um, so the properties in these paints, you could paint the ground outside, like the concrete, and it's not, like we literally did a test outside when we were in town, there was some graffiti, some, <laughs> some yucky graffiti that yeah, like needed to be that. covered if you know what I mean so I made a face out of, <laughs> you know you can imagine made a face out of it and um the paint stayed there longer than the spray paint longer than the graffiti did so it's pretty amazing stuff yeah anyway we are, we're loving these bubblings and cracking um now we're gonna preserve that by just adding a final layer, and this really adds to the glow and shimmer of the um, of the moonstone and the iridescent colors we used. And so I'm just adding final thin, like we want this to be pretty thin because we want to keep those um, textures happening, like where you see all the different levels. So basically just doing like a top coat, like if you were painting your nails top coat layer of resin and then we'll cure it and that will be it. Hey Mac, you know it's really fun? What? I just went into Shopify and I see lots of Carter carts. Woo! Yeah. Yay, I'm so glad you guys are using that. You can check out like some of these ladies did, but you can also leave your cart open. We have um we have plenty of pieces for you especially the paint sets just keep going on those and if you guys are shopping and you're like not here during our live time you can still comment the codes and yeah. purchase in the carter in messenger yep with carter awesome i was um saying to mom that i wish that 
it was sanitary to put this yerba mate drink into a IV bag and like <laughs> pump it through my veins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually insane how much better I feel. Anyway, let that cure up probably like 30, I mean even yeah, 45 seconds maybe is good enough for that. And that is your Baroque Pearl effect that you can use on literally anything. And yes, there is a paint kit. I will pop that back up here so you can see it. Perfect. This should be cool enough, I'm thinking, since we heated tooled it, but no, actually it's still kind of hot, surprisingly. I am super excited to see all of your um, other paint techniques, Mac. Yes. So there's so many. Anything else, you can actually chip that off, sand it off, or wipe it. Um, but just wanted to clean up this and show you. So you made that for me, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> no. Thank you, Mac. Just kidding. Isn't that fun, though? See, this is like a master class. This you is something I would do on a master class, so I don't even absolutely have to do a master class. After that's there. dry, you could do a little bit of one to the back, and you oh, have a full it. butterfly. Oh, you could do the back, too. I would. So, yeah, that you can just peel up, sand off, and you can cure this as many times as you feel like it needs, but I am obsessed. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I think that, um, Let's put that up here. this new app is clearer than OBS. Yeah, the, I like, like the, it. The, um, mm -hmm. the quality. The quality of the picture. All right. Oh, that Monica would be great. said she had to have a temporary feeding tube after <gasps> one of her what? surgeries. Yeah. What the heck kind of surgery was that? <laughs> she told me not, to put that. not to put alcohol in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's lame. So could I put yerba? Are you saying I could put yerba in a feeding, feeding tube? tube? Or a... Dang, I wonder if you could. <laughs> but don't do it. I would have doing it. having a feeding tube. <laughs> Okay, so easier. next yeah. paint effect. Yeah, and you wouldn't have lost so much. I think I should show, um, you explained your earrings pretty well. Let me zoom out so I can show Yeah, let's do those. We're those talking are about. super fun. Well, I mean, I'm going to just do something that's a little more um, intense, like your scarab one right there with the flower, because this one's really easy. Which All you're doing one is flower? that. Okay, oh, yeah, so do that. this that's, one, that's just one. wanted to quickly go through the colors. Actually, it's easy because they're the only um, colors in the kit. So turquoise, petalite on top, turquoise in the middle, chalcedony on the bottom. And she, mom said she did line this a little bit with um, rose gold. But that's really easy. It's just basically a little on. bit heavier than a dry brush technique. With a small, yeah, a little bit heavier than the dry brush. And then I went over with a relafing block. They also the start this way. Like, start with the turquoise. So, okay. This one. Those look so good on too, Mac. Yes. You should hold it up to your ear real quick because I can see you really well. I was wearing them. Oh. earlier so they can rewind. a lot of new people have come on though yes okay i want to do this one probably right that flower yeah love it what'd you do so i don't even know what you did with what with, with oh, the, the flower. flower yes i did moonstone oh wait moonstone. i need the flower it's oh. in the bin behind you sawyer oh, i didn't put it in the kit uh oh, soy. That flower? Yeah, we, we might have to bring those home and add those. For All right. While they take a million years to find that flower, I'm gonna <laughs> show you guys quickly oh, what I did, did on this. We did get the chain. Um, Pack up. In. Oh, it's in. I can show that right now. now. Only one of the chain cuts. Okay. okay, you wanna know what I did? Super easy. Okay. I did chalcedony. Okay. Moonstone and a scarab wing. And I mixed those three and I made this shimmery. If you want to pull over the bottom part of it, like this right here, pull it up to, sh to show. And then I put a tiny bit of petalite for warmth and made it this like 
shimmery oceanic like it was just ever so slightly okay that one excuse me just to like add warmth when i needed to but it's totally not necessary mostly it's the three on the i'll keep this flipped up and because i'm not gonna lie this color combo i would if i could paint all of my walls like this mm -hmm. i i would have we tried that let's just Put all our paints on the wall and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so zoom in back in. There is so much going on in your screen. It is out of control, that inspo. I did that on purpose. It's gorgeous. Because I just want to feast for the eyes and not just a boring gray background, you know? Okay. Aww, um, thanks, Robin. Yeah, we're adorable until the camera goes off, and then we're not. <laughs> so we get too hungry. Yeah. Just kidding. If and we haven't eaten eat, lunch, and, and then we, we're the nicest people again. We're just very again. emotional people. <laughs> very emotional people. We're like, we have no problem saying, get being snappy, and then we eat, and we're like, oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, Mackie, I'm sorry. You know what I did? But I like what you're doing What? There. I pre-mixed it all on the silicone sheet, but let's mix it on the piece for an alternative. All three colors you mixed? Yeah, but that's on the side. Great. No, just do it right on the piece. That's okay. Kind of, we always like to do a different thing, right? Oh, that's what you told me to do, so I did it. I did. What did I say? You said at first I put chalcedony down on the piece, and then... No, I said those are the colors I use. Chalcedony, moonstone... And where's our rewind okay, button? Where's our replay? Back, Just guys. kidding. <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. It's I might have said that. It's fine. We all know you mix up your words. It's okay. We all do. I definitely do. Not me. I just do it way Plus, more than everybody else. If it looks else. terrible, then I can just wipe it off and start over. It's but it's not. not it's I not gonna. Look look it already it's looks look amazing. And we always like to skip steps and make it even quicker, so. Yeah. And then Moonstone, too, to mix in. Yes, Moonstone. So Moonstone's going to make it look really glowy. I think I need a little more. Scarab wing at the top. Is that too much paint? No, Should I, I pull used, some off? I used quite a bit of scare, Scarab wing, and then you can, um, if you have too much, just dab it. I'll kind of blend it first. Yeah. So pretty. Just go all the way up to the top and move that. Ooh. Oh, piece up. Whoa, this Sherry's is on your crazy. side, Wendy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Sherry. <laughs> All right, who's team? Who's team Mackie? <laughs> everybody. Yeah, everybody put like a laughing face for team Mackie and a heart for team Wendy. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Laugh at Mackie. Oh, Mackie. I was thinking Mackie is a joke. Wow. Oh, thanks, Fine. Ooh. Ooh. Burn. Burn. Thank God. I oh, think this hearts. Oh, last young man. Hey, I got four hearts no, and there was one you. laughy face. Five hearts, one laughy. <laughs> two more hearts, two laughy. Fine. Two hearts, two hearts, five <laughs> hearts. Whoa. Laughing. I think I'm winning, man. All right. I'll give it to you. <laughs> you have some okay. supporters, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you definitely won. Oh, Mackie. So, um... What's that green in there, though, happening? Is it from the pink mixing in? It's from... The, the yellow tones of the pink? The green? You mean the olive? In your olive original, it's a little olive yeah, That's from the original uh, piece that was under it. You oh, it's because I put it. too much on there. Okay. Yeah, I wiped... Well, I did this. I, I did put a bunch on, and then I wiped it off. Look how much it actually did get more green once I put the pink in it, and that's because it's um, a complementary color, so it's getting a little bit more of a, a brown <laughs> neutral yeah. moment. Yeah. So that's also helping, but I'm going to wipe more. with. Yeah, a I took quite small a bit. Yeah, see towel. how pretty and green that got? And then I just took a lot off um, with my paper towel. Oh, Ellen is asking if this pit piece is in the Moon Glow Glimmer 10 piece set. Sure is. Yes, ma'am. Everything on screen, which I'm super zoomed so you don't even see everything, um, is in the. Yes. It was pit. just missing from our um, set aside pack. 
And we will make sure it's in there for you guys. Um, yes. You sure you didn't use any gold in that? I mean, um, bronze? I might have used bronze in the middle afterwards. Doing oh, it. yeah. I mean, it looks like you did. Yeah, Wait, bronze it's got in the middle. Shimmer. Yeah. <clears throat> and then white gold again. A white gold? I mean, moonstone. Gold? Okay. Moonstone? <clears throat> bronze or moonstone? Bronze moonstone in the middle and then pull mm -hmm. them out. That might be where the olive is coming from, too. That's what I thought because the bronze. bronze will make things look yeah. more olive. Yeah, that's what I did as the second step. Oh, okay. So first I put I that guess. mixed thing on and then I did the second step, which is gorgeous. I'm just gonna and use then my I finger. came back in with a little more moonstone on the outside, not on the inside. I'll there. pull it out. But yeah, you'll see. This one always gives me like sand dollar, even though it's not a sand dollar. But the inside that, flower cutout yeah, does look like it. It does. Yeah. It gives me that kind of vibe. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'm going to relief it. Yep, I too, did that so. too. <laughs> yeah, I could tell you definitely relieved. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then when you relief, the visual brassiness comes back. Yeah. Okay, so you can do it, blend it on the sheet before or on your piece. Probably easier to do like mom did, but. Mike, or Ainsley, can you pop up the paint kit again? Ooh, yes, large. It is in there, Robin. Yes, the green scarab is in the kit. And. Oh, yeah. Also, That's Stephanie, it. you are right. It is so strong. The scarab wing. You use it, it is. sterling. It'll take you Although a year this to one I it. did use more than usual, so that. It's that a good was fun. Yeah. It was it's fun. It's pretty yeah, though. Look at that. It's so, a little bright. It's got the same feeling as the original piece with just a little bit of difference. Yeah. I some mean, above it. I think it's my favorite. So let's bring know. the colors back. I love Scarab Wing. Aged bronze. Fire moonstone. Opal. A little bit of petalite at the end. Um what was the other color? Bronze. Dust. What? Oh, it was Cal just these Cal three? Cal oh, yeah, yes, that's it. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So five of the kit in order to achieve this gorgeous finish. And honestly, put them on however you want. Yeah, for but sure. But I pre-mixed the first three. Yeah, I like that. And then I added in no, that's good. the age bronze, and, the, and then I added more white gold at the end. So this is fun. You just looks like you did some... Oh, this is the one that you had a ton of colors on, right? Which one of every color in the set and then wiped it. You know what I would do? The I setting. would just do the um Probably age bronze and age bronze, right? And age, age bronze. Yeah, yeah. age just bronze those two. and calcedony just lightly brushed onto yep. the setting if you want to match that. But it does look it looks really great, good just, like just without paint when you're layering it. But I, want I like it to yours look too. More like a sea urchin. Yeah, like no, I like yours. Together. Yours is good. Did you guys see Lucine's comment? No. My car needs to be touched up because of dogs, and I'm going to use the scare. No way. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> well, that means you have that color car. I'm You'll be, yeah, I know. I want that color too. Dang. Okay, now let's quickly go over this pearl, um, pearl it'll, effect. It'll and stay then on there too. Call it good. Yeah, yeah. So this in my left hand is how that um, bead started, and we just made it look like a perfectly patterned embossed pearl, which is cool. And you just used moonstone and what to get that? Just moonstone and the two iridescents. That's it. Okay, and just pour, pour it on. directly on. Let it dry, then turned it over and I'm poured it directly on. Let it dry. That was my it. life easy, and put this on here. And do it because you don't even have to do that though mac honestly you just pour the three on okay you just do one side of one of them oh just do one side one side of one of them because then you won't it's have to a wait a great combination it's phenomenal yeah <clears throat> moonstone and then each of the iridescence yep and that was it that's enough and then the iridescence and then you're done Here's okay well i mean i suppose you could do both sides if you wanted but it might drip off and I might pick it up on the back, but yeah. whatever, like that. And then the violet. Yeah, you know what might be good is if you dump it off because you put a lot more on than I did. 
<clears throat> I'll just pull it with the silicone. And you could probably do all four beads with that much paint, which would be great. Yeah, just roll it now. See, I always like changing the technique, the technique to show different ways of doing it. That's good enough. And then it'll all fuse down. Yeah, it goes right down into the So you can crevices. already see it drying into the crevices. So. Yeah. Cool. You can actually okay. hang this over a like a little cup or I've done that. Like your tape, resin tape, and just go like that while it dries. Okay, now I want to just quickly go over this fun technique that I did to string all of these pearls. Uh, pearls and um, little sea glass beads. So I'm gonna dry this up so I make sure I don't get any paint on my necklace. Do you need a change different the, background for that? Or just change it Do you want it me to over. pull and switch? No, whatever. Oh, because I'm not painting, I right. see. Sure. So I'm just going to do that portion quickly. All right. And you probably want to show that too. <clears throat> How to do that? I'm going to make you do that. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. So... We got this nice long piece of wire in your jewelry collection. Um, it's a copper wire and we're going to measure out about, let's see what I did here. Main thing is to just make sure you have enough for your strand. I used to do this wire strand a lot in sections of a necklace because honestly it sounds dumb but the main reason is because I never want to find my beading wire and we always just have wire around so this is like about six no seven and a half inches worth of wire that we're going to save out for that section of beads. And what I'm gonna do here is going to take my um, needle nose pliers. I'm gonna do this fun thing. I always like to do this with this technique because it makes the wire feel super duper sturdy. So I just do like a double coil like that, right? And then I also mix it with a wrapped loop as well. So double and a wrapped wire eye pin basically. <clears throat> and then just Sawyer wonders how I get these so tight and you just make sure when you're pulling around your main wire that you just butt the last one up to the previous. So you pull it up and around. Although I like the way the loose wire looks too, but if you're wanting to keep your piece really nice and sturdy, that's how you do it. Mackie, I'm just giving everybody a rem reminder that when they comment with their cart number, yeah, that they need to, um, if messenger doesn't automatically pop up go to messenger to actually add the piece because what it does is it initiates your cart opening okay cool so if you have commented throughout this session today make sure you open up your messenger there's a message in there for you <clears throat> all right i don't think i'm going to go over the full um stringing so i'm just gonna put my first bead on and then show you just what i did in between each of these so see this fun like coil look in between 
all I did was essentially make a coil bead. And we so, included a lot. So much wire. There's two like, feet. Yeah, We included two feet of wire for you guys to make plenty of coils. So these coil beads take about like an inch and a quarter maybe. And just whatever length really that you come up with. But all you do here is just, I like to make them pretty tiny. So just pull and then twist and you can just keep twisting. You can go the other direction too, like going down your um, barrel so it's enough space. But just pulling it tight. Am I zoomed in enough on this? Yeah, it looks I can great. go a little closer. So just pull and twist. And I like to just put my finger there so it keeps it, it's kind of like a squishy pad that keeps it perfectly nestling Super so cute. that you can keep it real nice and tight in there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And this is a bit longer than most that I did. So you can even just do an inch worth. You can also clip off any extra like that. And then you've got this cute little I really oil love bead. these spacer beads that Me you too. made. I love it. I think they're just adorable. You could do really long ones too. For sure. And they would be the cutest earrings. You could string and a head pin or I'm mean, not head pin, but an eye pin. Actually too, um, you can use our thin veil pliers. Those skinny ones. Those are great And that too. would make yeah. Well, because if you, you try and make a big long one with this, it'll start to take shape of the needle Let me find nose. That. So if we have our thin bail plier, that will have a uniform shape throughout your whole entire coil bead. This one right here. I love that one. You could do both messy yeah. beads. We have a thinner one than this even, don't we? No, that's it. No, we do. I know we do. Super thin guy. Thin wire? Or thin... Um, wire coiler? Yeah, we have a wire coiler. Oh, this tiny, tiny one. Yeah, that's the one. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes that's what that's, that's gorgeous what for, too, actually. They're both of them are great. Yeah, but this would be a really thick coil. Yeah, but that would sure, be fun you can too. do that. But yeah, I like like the look of this. You like the tiny, tiny one. Yeah, so that thin I'll coil. I'll add that. I'll add that to the comments, the tiny one. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, and then you're gonna have plenty of wire. So to save, now this, I didn't demonstrate the um, silk, but all you have to do is just wire brush paper. on a bunch of rose gold and turquoise onto your um, silk. And this is still a little bit crusty. So what I like to do is actually just massage it you could even run it under water and it will loosen up any stiffness. That's what I do, Mac. Yeah. I just I just wash it with um soap and water with Dawn. Cute. I should have done that. Oh well. Um so anyway, what I did here to attach my wire section onto the silk was um finished it off with a jump ring, slipped the silk the painted silk through that jump ring, knotted it twice in a or knotted it in a square knot, then pulled up that little foot, that little um, piece of the silk, and then I just wire twisted loosely around that, which reminds me of Sawyer's masterclass, which was super cool. Oh, that's a really great idea that Robin had. She said if you use your round nose pliers and you wrap the um, wire around it, you can make a bead cap because it makes like a calm shape. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. Love yeah. It. Super cool. So yeah, guys, that's all you need to do for this. You can also take a look at our image if you love this particular order of this necklace. So that's that. Now, I can also help Yeah. I can do it. Alrighty. Avonda Sawyer's gonna help you. He's gonna comment for your ordering. All right, lastly in the kit, we're going to demonstrate this bracelet centerpiece, which was super gorge. 
Oh, by the way, you get a full pack of stars, even though there was only one used in our examples. So that's fun. You can make as many Baroque Pearl stars as you want. Um, where are those connectors? Um, here they are. I found them. Okay, they were hiding. And you have the whole punch pliers. Yes. Yeah, she does. I love this background for the live. It's so pretty. I know. It looks like a painting. It is. <laughs> I mean, like a Renaissance painting yeah. is what I meant. Sorry. I didn't finish my hey, thought there. But did we tell everybody that we used our paints to make that? Yeah. If you guys didn't know, we put... Well, that was close, Ainsley. Oh my gosh, I almost, right almost impaled I Ainsley's leg with a bead all. I did a master class on making backgrounds. Are you going to do this one so I can take a bite of my oatmeal? Yes, I okay. can, but I didn't do anything with my nails again. And no one cares. Okay. Can you switch That's okay, in? I'll just make up for you. Yeah, I know. Ainsley is going to put her nails in the corner of the screen. <laughs> I'd love to see them when Hi. she lays out her mixes yeah um so i apologize again i'm always painting so i never even bother doing my nails but for this one i simply put on i dripped on the aged bronze in the centerpiece let's just show you here I dripped on the age bronze in the centerpiece, and I also put a little bit of the rose gold. And then for these little focal areas, I put on the moonstone. So that's all it is, is the three metallics. And it really made this beautiful um, cloisonne look in there, which I really, really loved. I love cloisonne. I love the enamel look. But once you do that, then you have this really, you keep the relief of everything and you get this gorgeous um, uh, cold enamel look. One thing I really like to do is when, I know you guys have been getting a ton of the solid brass. So we call this solid brass when we haven't used our process on it. When we've used our process, then it's natural brass. But when we have the solid brass, you, you probably get quite a few solid brass, brass pieces in your kits and in your one-of-a-kind lots. And to be able to use the paints with them, it's just incredible. I mean, it just shows up so much in the solid brass. I mean, look how much that transforms the piece. Anyway, all I did was... There's a couple of indentations here. So um, this has four, four loop openings that are opened at the back part of it right there. So that has four of those. I only used two of them and I made the other two decorative. So this has an indentation right there and right there that line up really well. I didn't get my glasses. Um, anyway, I'll, if I'm farther away, I see better. So I'm just going Don't to take the back side. I love punching from the back side because it's just, it's not going to slip. If you try to punch off this front side, you can get some slipping and that really bothers me. So I like to go wherever I can to go on the recessed side. Oh no, those aren't them. Those are the old ones, remember? I've got right. new where, fancy where designer new ones. ones. They're in my purse there on the shelf. Oh. By the bathroom. Mom's really taking you on the run around for her nice glasses. I want to show off my new my new designer readers. Expensive glasses. They're in my purse, the black purse. Black purse? Yeah. Oh, I see them now. Okay, and then there's another recess right there. Just going to punch that out. And the same thing for the other side. I'm so excited to show you guys these. So, all right, there they are. Uh, oh, wow, I can see. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to 
finish that off. All right, so one thing that's important to know, and this can be already painted. You can paint before or after, it really doesn't matter. So you've got all four of your sides painted. They will line up like this perfectly. And you're just, you're just, we're just gonna slip it in and hang it on. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is to make the side, um, the side pieces that are just gonna be decorative. So all you wanna do is close up the little ring here. So you close up that loop and then you're just going to gently turn it to the outside like that. And then same thing here. Just close this down and turn it to the side. So you've got this decorative loop and it's out of the way. So you want that out of the way. All right, and then to get your piece through, and this is such a pretty piece. We did not finish this for you because we wanted to show that you could use this as anything. I love the idea of using this as a pendant. You can wear it that way. You can wear it this way. I really love the idea of a bracelet. I'm a big bracelet person. So I really liked the idea of putting that as a bracelet there. Um, and you can put more holes in it however you want. You just punch them in there. But I thought this would be really pretty with just a nice thick chain. If you grab the chain cuts, which we're going to show next, um, there's four ounces of this craziness. And you get all sorts of different chains in here. You want me to pop them up? Sure. You can pop that up. Um, Mackie's going to pour this out. Actually, I could pour it out really quickly um, after that. But just grab some of the chain cuts. I think it's $24 for all that ton, ton of it chain. Is. Okay, so do you see how these are lining up? That just simply slips just right through that after you've um, done that. And all you're going to do is take that and close it up again. And that's probably good for that. And that's super pretty. And just do it until it uh, flows ni nicely. Did you see Peggy's question? No, she I mean. She said, um, would it hurt the finished piece if up. you cut the extra loops off? No, not at all. I mean, just do whatever you want. That's what I say. I mean, it wouldn't change the structure at all. You can just cut those off. The center two is all the structure. These two are just extra loop de loops. Yeah. You just file it, cut yeah. and file it. Yeah. And Stephanie said that you're styling. I'm styling. You like these? I like them. They're like super fun. I'm not ready for you yet. Okay. Fine. <laughs> uh, Mackie's like, get those hands off the screen. All right. I'm just going to show you really quickly. I'll start this. I'm going to show you what you get in one of these chain cuts. First of all, this is all... 24 bucks only? Yes, this Not is this is 10 karat gold plated. And anything that's gold like that is 10 karat gold plated. And this is sterling silver plated. And we have three to five mils, which is out of control. This one just happens to be hematite. Sometimes you'll get some natural brass. Um, we love getting these chain cuts because we use these as like little earring links and little space connectors, connectors during with your bracelets. So you're gonna get some really fine chain, like this is, this is enough for like a really pretty um, delicate bracelet or a necklace. And look at all this thick chain. And there's like all sorts of little um, different kinds. This one has a ton of the really uh, thick chain. I love the way Mackie will do in her designs uh, different chain sections. Yes, as a link. Like yeah. That's kind of a All on one necklace, I think. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So, guys. That will be the perfect thing for that. Yeah. Here's another one just to show you. So, they're going to vary. So, I'm going to push this off and I'm going to pull out one more because these are going to vary. So, if you want a couple, you can get a huge variation. Um, What's this? 
That's too. that's your butt, but I watered it down because there's so much sugar okay, in it. Have, you can have tons of it. Here's another one. They're four ounces, so you can see what it looks like. That is such a gorgeous sterling, sterling silver plated chain. If you were to buy this all individually, we're probably talking over a hundred bucks. Definitely. Um, this is a gorgeous one, and this one has quite a bit of natural brass in it. We can't. Oh, that's hilarious. This has a whole necklace in it. So that is absolutely possible. Leave it up to our manufacturing team. When they're done, they just go like this, whoosh, and they scoop it right into right, a big like bin. Fully made things. Fully sometimes. made things come in here. Can you imagine like, being surprise! able to live like that? Just throw it away. It just they work hard we'll enough it. that they can do that. Yeah. We'll take it. No, we take that. That's why you guys... Yeah, have all of these amazing deals is because they're Whoa. focused on their task at hand. The That's all. End of large production run. This one was a little heavy fisted. I probably did it, so you know they're all gonna vary. That's why I buy like three of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's just tons of change. So if you're the friend that came today, you know for twenty four bucks you're gonna score. So you're gonna get natural brass, rose gold, which is out of production. Possibly get some antique copper, 10 karat gold plated, sterling silver plated, antique sterling silver plated, antique gold plated, you know, just lots and lots of options. Unfortunately, we can't take any special requests, guys, just because it is the reason these are so cheap is because we just take four ounces and we drop them in. But, you know, your value is like... Crazy good. This is very heavy. Awesome. Probably 4.5. All right. Back to Mac. Good chatting with everybody. Or to the bracelets. Now, oh yeah, you're going to go to the bracelets. Love it. Okay. Oh, wait. Ainsley, are you going to show this part? Do you want to? You can. Yeah, I, I think this is Ainsley's to. part. Okay, let, me, you can let me just clean up for her a yeah. tad. Okay, and Ainsley, what you can do is, since we already... Um, describe the raspberry treasures. You. you could start with the pixie wishes. Okay. You can show them how they stack up to yeah, that's true. what they look like on. All right, I'm going to trade you out boards. Okay, I'll take that. Put these on screen. Do you want to start with the other since we just went over 102? We, did, we didn't talk about Pixie Wishes yet. Yeah, so, so do we that can one start first. with Pixie Wishes. And we'll just go like that. It's fine. Yeah, and let's put it up. I can put it up on. <coughs> it's on the screen now. We did that first. Oh, yeah. Mine's delayed. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. guys. So this is Pixie Wishes. This was my initial design when I was thinking about the bracelet stacks because I wanted to create like very charm bracelet feel. And this one, I just really love all how all the colors came together. It's not quite rainbow, but there's a lot of diversity in the colors for this one. Um, but this, this has, I'm going to put, cute. this is the pack too that it comes yeah. in your kit. So, some of these will have jump rings already on them or links on them, just kind of depends. And some of these are pre-painted. Everything on here, like the way it is, is how it will come in your pack, besides the fact that it won't be put together. But let me open up one of those packs. I can get this delay so you guys can get a better feel. And we do have like this pre-beaded bracelet. And then a 10 karat gold bracelet, but let's open up the pack so you guys can see what that's like. And if like. you just leave it, you can just put the pack all right here. Yeah. Then they can see it all at the same time. And then you'll know you're right in the middle of the screen. Mackie is like queen of the screen layout. I know. I'm kind of a freak. Oh, I love it. Jan, okay, here's a good example, guys. Janet, you typed 104 chain. <clears throat> it's very important. For the way we're doing the new platform that you type in CART, capital C-A-R-T, 104. Just what you see on the screen. 
Because what that will do is that will open But this up. one is 103. Yes, but she she specifically typed cart 104. For, oh, for chain. <clears throat> yeah. For the okay. chain. Yep. So if you want to just comment, re-comment, and just do um, exactly how it's shown with capital C, cart, and space 104 for your chain. Don't, yeah. And leave out the chain part. Yep. Type exactly what you see inside the quotation marks yep. on the screen. And In then the that will bar. Yes, and that will open up a messenger dialogue to you where you can add it to your cart. So this comes kind of fun. cut. Mm -hmm. And then for you to complete it, we have these that you'll put them on here. And I'll just sit in there and you'll... And that's a Swarovski heart, by the way, which I wish I would have yeah. stolen some back because that fiery color is It's crazy. really amazing. This is Swarovski. Look at that. So it's like topaz, but it has this fiery fuchsia in it. It's incredible. Yeah, this side is a little bit better view. Ainsley, what the heck? Your nails are out of control. <laughs> they look like a charm bracelet on nails. And Vintage doesn't even pay for her nails. She pays for those out, out of her own pocket. Wow. Wow. That's because it's that's how, my specialty. That's how treat. she is committed to herself. Yes. And you know so what? for I this, really wish I could we do that. just did the simple technique. You're just going to clip this end off, this head pin to end off, and you're going to bend it into a triangle shape. Mackie recently showed how to do that on a previous live. Mm -hmm. So if you need to see how to do that, just go check back into one of our previous lives. Oh, Monica says, dang, I need to travel to Idaho to get Mackie and Ainsley to teach me how to do makeup, especially eye makeup. Oh, <laughs> she noticed. Thank yeah, I went a little crazy today, guys. <laughs> I was just feeling it. I woke up earlier than normal and I couldn't fall back asleep. So this is what happens as a result. Honestly, all I ever do is just do a um, halo eye, they call it. Mm -hmm. So you just start with the colors, like a darker color around the corner also, and then light in the guys, middle. Guys, for this chain, when you are making this piece, right, I want you to be conscious that just because your jump ring doesn't fit in right away, does not mean it won't fit. You might have to use the bead all to um, bore it open a little bit so that your yeah. jump ring will fit through this tiny, tiny little hole. So don't be too concerned about that. Just make sure to use your bead all. Some of them will still fit right away though. It just kind of depends. That's a good tip, Ames. <clears throat> I'm trying to think if there's that is anything the end else. of the bar. I thought it would be nice if you put them on for a sec and we switched you back to the main screen image. Yeah, we can do that. Do you want to help me? Yeah, what, just tell me which screen. To, is it this I click? Or yeah. It's, do I have to unclick no, the others? Just click the big one. Yeah. Ainsley, I'm sorry. I missed it. Okay. Did you describe all the charms and what they were? I did not yet. Oh, let's do that first. Or is okay. it already switched? She can just switch it back really easy. She just has to tap it there. Okay. Okay, so first we have a pre-painted cute little dragonfly. Then we have um, this glass. This is Czech, right? Or is this one Swarovski? Which one? The Bunny drop. Glass right? That's the heart? No, no the, drop. the drop. Oh, yeah, that is Bohemian glass. Bohemian glass. Mm -hmm. And then we have this cute little heart. Heart stamping, next. actually. Mm -hmm. And then this is a Czech. Yeah, vintage. Vintage. Czech. It's a briolette, and it's from Jablonets or Jablonet. This I still is need to a pre-painted feather charm. That one's art glass. Yeah, love that color. Mm -hmm. This is pre-put together, so you'll actually not have to do string the, that. String that on there yourself. It'll Duh, come Ainsley together. Be wearing this one. And then we have a cute little curl. Yeah. This green bead. Yeah, that's a beautiful faceted glass. And the Swarovski that's just absolutely out of control. Chunk, chunk. Cute little I love you charm. This is two different pieces, so you'll just have to put them together. This ring is separate. And then you have this little strand that will come off of this big guy. Oh, um, you could tell Connie <clears throat> that also... And then this is the bead cap and another... 
cute bead. It has iridescent quality and then just a tiny, tiny little when, bead. When you were talking about getting the jump rings to fit, was it in the bar chain? Yeah. Yes, the um, 10K gold. Can you also use the hole punch? Because I wouldn't recommend doing that because it's going to just, I think, eat it's, the end. It's too It's too, too, too small. Not big, not yeah. big enough for not that. Not big enough yeah. for that. It it would probably eat it. You yeah. guys, just be a little more... And this is brass, so just be a little more diligent with the beetle. Mm -hmm. Take your time and yeah. it will move open. You'll get used to it. It's like a twisting motion, It's right? like a... Yes. Here, Ainsley, you should just demonstrate it for Connie. Yeah. Here. We there can you just go. show you in one second. Let I think Mackie and Ainsley need to do a makeup live. They were talking about doing that <laughs> I'm one not time. Kidding. Yeah. You sure. should because how to get ready like for a streaming. Fun thing, right? That would be fun. <laughs> Who so. would tune in for that? Heart it. Heart it if you want to see them do it. I have this it. on here, Together, right? That would and be I'm super just fun. going to... Can you put something behind my hands because it keeps going out of focus? Like, oh, yeah, I know. Sure, let me grab a background. Click. Yeah, if we just set it right underneath, that'll work. Oh, oh we have lots of hearts coming in. Whoa. <laughs> I was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so going to do it learn. after we okay. watch. So... It's still out of focus. Do you want to bring it up higher? Go lower. If you just hold it, it's still... There we go. Yeah, you need to go lower Lower is the point. There we go. There. Okay. So I'm just holding onto this with the chain nose, and I'm going to wiggle. That's a really good... That is a really good tip, Ainsley. I'm going to wiggle. So use the chain nose and wiggle. You're not going to want to do it with your hands. That would hurt. Oh, that's so smart. And just wiggle. And then I'm going to pull, I'll pull it off and check and see if it goes through. If it doesn't, then I'm going to keep repeating this process until Love I can it. get the jump ring. And to go if through. you don't want to do that, just buy smaller jump rings. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And if it's that frustrating, you know what I mean? Just buy a small jump ring. Yep. Don't make your life harder than it needs to be. But this is still pretty easy. Take as control long as... of your own life and destiny. <laughs> I'm going to take that advice, Mac. I'm out of here and I'm going to get food. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Hey, wait, take me. <laughs> okay, Mackie, you want to put this on my wrist? Sure. And you want me to flip over to... Oh, yeah, Monica, you, you and me both. But for some reason, your comment was hidden. Here, let's put you on screen while we're doing it. Oh, probably it. because, oh. yeah. We have it upside down. Oh, <laughs> Oh, well, it hid your when comment you have your because arm you hanging use down. It won't be. You use the word stab on there. You go like that, right? Oh yeah, you have it. Right yeah, there. I was just making sure. Interesting. And then change it to poke. Don't yeah. poke yourself <laughs> that way. But and I'm guys, these are not made to my it. wrist size, so you might want to cut it down. But she's gonna stack the other ones as well, so you can customize the length to your size. But otherwise, it's gonna be the standard seven and a half. Yeah, Angelie, I was going to say, um, with the chain packs, the variety packs that we got, um, they can make really cute extenders if they want it bigger and then smaller, mm -hmm. just cut it smaller, right? Like right. you said? Yep, just cut it smaller yeah. to get it the right, but this is the Pixie Wishes, which I just am obsessed with that name that we came up with. I know, Monica, can you believe that, that that would get, I, I suppose they'd have to hide that stuff, right? There it goes. Just that language? Yeah, they. It's just the the moderation. It does it just in case. You know, Moderate, you've got a lot yeah. of yeah, and then you can turn it back on if it's something. I like Karen's idea of having a self care night. Yeah, we could do it at night too. That would be super that would be fun. Cute. A vintage sleepover, sleepover party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like 10 o'clock at night, you're putting on makeup. Bye. I'm going to come on screen because I would wear this as a charm necklace. Your, oh, oh, And I would, yes. oh, all the, all you have to do, we Just always forget. Just with your chain cut. Oh, yeah, duh. Is Wait. take two bracelets. This I do all the time with my Just do it right now. collections at home. Yeah. Is, um, I don't want that to fall over. Okay, but I put the bracelet and two bracelets together and it just hooks to the side oh my so then you have a necklace on. you could you could hook all three bracelets together and have a long necklace too yeah, yeah. it looks so In cute like collection. that too there we oh go my gosh good right yes it looks amazing my weird strings <laughs> well you know that's don't mind that so what yeah. 
Okay, Peggy said using the word peyote got her in trouble on Facebook. Oh, no. That's so funny. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go through and show you the other one that Mackie just was putting on her neck. Hey, maybe we should type a bunch of words and see what Or gets you can hidden. just put it on. Kidding, they can, don't do that. I'm sure they can imagine it like a bracelet, so you could just put it on too, on your white shirt. First person yeah. to get banned oh, wins. Oh, yeah, that would look really pretty yeah. if you Can you put your hair up? Actually. Yes, ma'am. Oh, should we put on the raspberry since you're featuring it? That's what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean on the like code. Just click oh, yes. Here. And, and then, then right there. Oh, Ainsley did it. There. Oh, angels. That looks so pretty or as a necklace. Chainless. Right? No, no, Kathy, you're, you've got three bracelets. Yes, you can connect them so all together. So you can together. connect them all together. <laughs> yeah. I or, promise you, your neck is not well, This is only this two of them. Extender. This is only two of them. Yeah. Put all three together and show. Oh, How yeah. Cool I'll, do, yeah I'll just quickly that. do it. Oh, that actually <clears throat> would look really pretty on your blouse. Yeah, like... All Long, three of them together. Really pretty, like asymmetrical half. Mm -hmm. I love that. You should switch it to large screen. It is. Oh, okay. I'm behind. Sorry. <laughs> well, oh you must be gosh. super behind that thing. Whatever. I'm blocking this person, guys. Ugh, gross. Your hair looks like Barbie hair, like fake, not fake in a bad way, but like, <laughs> yeah. you know, when you get the Barbie hair. I and got him, Peggy. Like, oh, I got him right away and fast. Hey, you sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must you're be talking about all of us. It's the button hey. up to the neck shirt. <laughs> hey, really? Sexy. Wow, your button up top is so smoking hot. That's so funny. Angelie, that is gorgeous. So, yeah, that's all three worn as a necklace. So, I love that they're so convertible like that. That's so cool. Oh, Karen said this is an on-trend look, too. Cool. It is. Ooh, but there's no so. extra work here. Just make your three bracelets, which are almost pretty yep. much done for you, and then hang them all together <laughs> as you want for your links. That's yeah, okay, so... Can you Wonderful. do the same thing, Ainsley, with pixie wishes? Will you? Will you? Yeah, we can try that as well. Mackie, will you hook together? Yeah, the you take that wishes, off and I'll. And then these. I'll put up pixie wishes, guys. Oh, Mackie, are you? Oh, you're wearing these. Let me put that. Take that from you. <laughs> Monica said your pink's your cheeks got so pink, Ainsley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ainsley gets red blush. Hey, you're as pale as we are. You can really see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, when I was a kid. Was yes, so Carla. It is really bad for me. Like yeah, but it's cute. I think. Uh, yeah. I suppose so. Let's go back and forth between the I'm codes. Unfortunately, we can't put two codes up. We have pixie wishes on right now. I know, but someone wants to see the other one. Okay. That's... So this one is Raspberry Treasures is the one Ainsley was wearing, and that's cart 102. Pixie Wishes is cart 103, and that's the one Mackie has just putting together all three bracelets for this gorgeous look. Oh my gosh, I love it on here. Yeah. And then, so we'll put up Pixie Wishes now. If you want to mess with your hair, you can. Oh... You need to walk right out of here today with that. Mm -hmm. That is so, so pretty. Which one is the pink code? The camera is throwing me off. Yeah, I know. I hate <laughs> that too. The pink code is... is like, where is it at? And I then I'll do the pink the right code. Way. Up. Okay. The pink code I have up is 101. That's so pretty. I There's... think you got it centered finally. Okay. Well, so fun, you guys. So forty-four dollars for three bracelets. How are much does it do make the, each? Are we doing a deal if they buy both of them? No, nope. we're not no, no. because it was they were going to be fifty-five dollars, and, and, and we already limited. made them for right. you. We pre we pre-priced pre them at the priced discount with the discount, so they could buy both. And then, do we have that other? I just want to see if there's anything special about this bracelet, the other bracelet. That they should be conscious of. Let me just oh, yeah, for check. assembly? Yeah. I didn't think so. Yeah, I think there's... We just... 
There's not really hands. anything. I guess the only thing is just like the crimps this. on the rhinestone. They're really easy to use. This part right here of the treasure. Let me just raspberry treasures. Um, this jump ring you might have to straighten Put it your hands a, little a little bit lower. You might there have you to go. straighten it a little bit so that it feeds through and then rebend it. But otherwise, that's the only thing. Everything else is straightforward assembly. Just getting it in the right order um, using the jump rings. Okay. Are you ready for your design mixes? Yeah, we can do that. Monica said she blushes at the drop of a hat, so she completely gets <laughs> it. <laughs> I used to think my classmates were being like, like, oh my gosh, you're all red. Okay. So Hazel, you might as well stay on. Yep. Mikey's like, yes, I get a break. <laughs> I can stand and not sit. Oh, Peggy said even if you do a lowercase c, it will start the prop order. Okay. Oh, process. good. So oh, good. Good to, know. good to know. But the space is important. Guys, look at this. I don't know. These ones today were a Wendy and me collaboration. Yeah, Wendy nice. and I collaborated on them. And so these are just crazy. Some of you, I know you don't like bugs, but this one is very Egyptian, very scarab inspired. But if and you the take colors are just, just this super. out, there's only technically two insects. Which is one is a butterfly. Yeah, so I that's love, it. And I love them. I no, think me too. Like yeah. Obsessed. You don't have to use them if you. But that's literally get it. it in if there. you aren't into the insects, but we we will go through this. Mostly are here, and in we'll Vintage. do a quick little layout. But just look at these colors. They're just such bold colors, and they come together so beautifully. Um, Ainsley, I think we only have. I think we only have. Oh, do you have the call? We out? need. To, yes. Yes. I think yeah. we only have seven of those left. Six only seven. Or seven of those. Okay. Are you gonna lay them out? Yes, I am. Nice. I think it'd be nice if we kept this on the top corner. Yeah, we can do that. So we can keep being inspired by that pile. You know, let's just dig through here and see what goodness is. And guys, like this with the scarab and the lapis like you're getting scarab wing if you buy the today's pants set so it just look amazing on this just saying doesn't you like the hint. more lighter fairyish look these this paint set with these bindings oh. and Gorgeous. then you can do even if you wanted to take mackie's um broke pearl technique today you can do that inside of these yeah, make it look like these had you that know what? in there. That's what I was going to say. How cool would it be if you made it double-sided, too, right. a, with some of the um, stampings? Yeah. That are concave. You could fill them with resin. Yeah, and you definitely on could side. on the other side. Mm -hmm. And then also have two options. I wish we could still get these trays. <laughs> Somebody was saying we should sell the trays. Maybe Sawyer can make us a kit. For what? The trays. For trays. Oh, to make the. To he make could. Yeah. He could make we it have. He could a, be dovetailed too. We have a glow forge for that. Also, if you order without the space, it still works. Cart one hundred five. Okay. So any variation of cart one hundred five, yay! Which makes it easy for you guys. Guess the last little video sync receipts the better, right? For sure, yeah. definitely. Oh, wait, Robin, will you sell those trays? Oh, she said darn. But you know what? Let's talk to, let's talk about it. With yeah. Sawyer, let's see if he can recreate this tray. Yeah, And then all sure. you have to do is use, like, wood glue. A little bit of wood glue. Yeah, yeah and yeah, we'll send too. it to you as a flat pack. And we were thinking about doing some specialty well, jewelry I'm stands, too. Oh, she asked everybody about that? I'm yeah, do you, would you guys want jewelry people. stands? Mm -hmm. Because we were considering about doing those on Friday and maybe including like that as a possible product. Would you well, guys be interested you made in that? Some, you guys made some incredible ones. Yeah, we had designed a bunch of jewelry stands. Sorry, I'm just going to put it on both your, of us. Like half your um, circular one, Ainsley, yeah. with all the earrings oh my that you gosh. can hang from it? I don't We even. have like <laughs> 10, at least 15 different designs Wait, of jewelry yeah. stands, I you, think. You know what we need to do? Do they all have designs on them to be paintable? Yes. 
I believe most of them. Most of we them are. We gotta do that like immediately. And Cassie did a bunch too, actually. We're doing yeah, it. Yeah, We're starting. Actually, do we? Even if we just had one to show, I, we could. Yeah, where are they? Are they packed? Know if we away? have we any never printed out them from, from the studio. Somewhere. Yes. We could show anyway. them Friday. Yes, Friday. Yeah, so we have a few different things we can do with stands and um, trays, all that sort of thing. Mickey, there's the Come owl. in a flat, flat pack. There's the owl that you did. I want it for the, for the kid today. Which owl? Right behind Ainsley. I don't want to walk behind you. If you look right there by the earring tray, you can show that owl. Oh. To, at the end of the live, because that is so gorgeous to use with the paint effects kit this is today. Ring. So if you oh, want to make this your... into a ring, you can. You just have to glue it on there. And then you can have like... Because that's moonstone and the two iridescents. It could be just like this as a ring. I did use scarab wing that? in here too. And we have it. In the uh, they're stacked right there. Oh, and you used that? You did that? But I, I just realized I put scarab wing in there. That's we, how it got even more. Oh, yeah. Scarab wings in the Ooh. kit. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, for this, I oh, need for to put that, scarab wing next time. Wing. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes. On it? Mm -hmm. Oh, my Glued gosh. Or resin or whatever. Yeah. I'll show that later. Yeah. Sorry, in the little, uh, the side conversation is we're pulling out some pieces that Mackie did that are not jewelry with the kit, the paint set today. <clears throat> Ainsley, what colors would you paint that leaf? Because that's a vintage piece that's this one? painted. I think I would throw a little bit of bronze in here, mm. to be honest, and like add a little bit of that like deeper shimmer to it. Yeah, love it. We could definitely go a totally different direction and lighten it up, but that's just, that's just what I'm feeling at the moment. And I was thinking about putting that scarab over that fanned piece. How fun would that be? Oh, over this one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was saying they could even make this into a ring, too. Which, oh, yeah. The scarab. They can just glue it on here, and it'd be a crazy ring. And then I was just thinking of lining these two up and having like a crazy like pendant. There's so many options with this. It's so beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do. What's your model? I hope you guys aren't Heidi. talking about that like silicone one because that freaks me out. Like that when... um. It's like almost like a fake piercing ear. Oh, and it's I know. Like, it's like, like, they're probably talking about like the scale. You know how they'll have like. Well, let's ask. That? That's what I think of when I think of jewelry display. Sell ear era. model on Amazon. Look it up. Because someone was looking for an earring display that's. Don't get shows the. how it looks it on. The whatever <laughs> rubber ear. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ainsley, I. Um, when we were doing that little drop thing, yeah, that's perfect. Because we were going to do a couple Ooh. of those as earrings. And I think we... There's two. Yeah, but for as far as the beads go, we you can put the other beads in there too. Look, here's another freaking huge Swarovski chunk. Look at one, two, three. Oh, more. Yeah, Is there's a lot of five, Swarovski. And these are Swarovski, by the way, too. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I forgot I put them on there. So there's a there's six, eight, seven, eight. Lot. Count them. Eight of them. Eight we Swarovski. Might sell out of this. We might sell out of this design mix. Um. So it just depends if you want to check out now to make sure you reserve it. Um. But there's either way. Oh my gosh. You can leave it in your cart, so or you can check and. But it will only remove it from our inventory once you're checked out. I just keep on finding more and more. A couple of the ladies want to see the scarab on the ring. If you don't feel like gluing is strong enough, you could actually rivet just right down the center or the sides. Um, and how you rivet onto rings is use a metal ring mandrel and hammer and using the mandrel as the base while your ring is put through. Does that make sense? Yes, and you would want to do that. Yeah. 
So that's how, yeah. You can also wire ladies. that on. I've seen, I've seen people wire the scarabs onto the ring as well, and that's a gorgeous look. True. Oh, I love that above the sides. That's yes. what I would do, actually. Yeah. Because it would be, it would be challenging to rivet it because it's hollow. You could rivet it. It's just that you know you might dent, do some indentations yeah. unless you did a nice stack. Well, of it actually because. fits perfectly in the back. Yeah, it does. Oh, so nice. It's fine if you do that. But yeah, you know what? Wire right. would be pretty and then too. Would you put a little bead cap type thing on it? To make it decorative on the or, top. Or if you don't want too much um, visually, you could just take a flat back stone and cover your small oh, mushroomed I portion love, with that. Yeah, and then you wouldn't even too. see the rivet head. I love that idea. <clears throat> this is a stunning kit. Um, of course, it's like, look at those earrings. Look at those Egyptian like dangly but they're not don't even have to look egyptian they kind of look bohemian too now that you put that the swarovski hoops on them i mean let's be honest the swarovski alone is worth 35 bucks yeah it is it has a kit the because the Can moon you just is huge. Hold the moon huge in your hand yeah this thing is, moon is huge and so eight pieces of swarovski Buy it just for that and throw away the medals just kidding don't do that <laughs> but you can um, your mat up just a little higher. It, everything is on screen. I know. It's just covered oh, right. by it's the It's just we have chat and live comments. shot yeah. on the bottom. So I'm having a harder time seeing the pieces that right moon, at the moon. Get it just for the moon because that's that's a discontinued piece. Yep. Awesome. So is this galactic cut? cut right yep. there that's discontinued as well and that's the that gorgeous black jet color which is just stunning okay you ready for your next yes all right let me grab that okay so now this one we went there was a huge departure in this one and we went very very vintagey well we went we said it's like our childlike wonder of Absolute cottage. Yes. And there's some Mackie Mullane um, hand painting on there on those moons. Yep. And Ainsley, you did that one, right? No. Nope. Kathy G. Or my mom may have. Which, which one? The wood. That one, I think, was a combination between some of your sketches and Kathy's. Mm. So that's Ooh, like that would make sense. Like okay. you did some rough sketches and she may have finished it. Okay. Okay, you guys. Wildflower Daydream. This one I'm obsessed with. I think that if there was anything that would remind me of like our something that just makes me happy, mm -hmm. it would be this. Yeah, that's so pretty. Just this giant. And this one we have more available of. We did 24, 24. instead of 12 this time. So you but guys have a better already... opportunity of actually being able to get it. Stock up. So get multiple. You're going to be one. shocked yes. when you see it. this layout. Because would... it looks nothing like it does in the tray. Because this is loaded. I would add more than one to your cart if I were you. <laughs> yeah, this has that giant filigree in it. Like... Which honestly, I would stack these Do you personally. Have the leather bracelet that you, you guys don't did have with to, this? but look at that. Also, look at this, Ains. This one with the filigree behind it, too. Oh, yeah. My gosh. I know. Cool, Mom. You could wrap it, too, if you pulled it the other way, right? Or does it maybe not fit you up in your You can use that filigree for everything. Even just hang like, it. Everything. Hang it where it is yeah. a bracelet. Put it over your wrist as a bracelet. That is a just a stunning bracelet too. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, let's... If you get two, then if you got two of these kits, you could make earrings, like giant ones. Yes. <laughs> oh, like I love the my earrings. one pair. Yeah. This yes. one. And this up. wood is so so light. So even if you want this as an earring, as large earrings, it's you're not even gonna feel it like whatsoever. So guys, this is a heather piece right here buy two so you can make this pair of earrings that i sold on um jewel school a while back look and this is the same Ooh, 
same basic one. Let yeah. me pull them up too quickly on you. Those, aren't those oh. amazing? So get two. Here's on a different skin gorgeous. tone. <laughs> Pick your skin tone. <laughs> Choose your fighter. <laughs> okay. There and this go. is one that you did a painting, hand painting of, and that's what they printed on? Yep. So cute. Thank you. It works. And look at this. This comes all together. Just like a cute little collective. This would be super cute on a keychain even. Doesn't even have to be a necklace, but it'd be so cute if you just stuck it on a keychain. I just keep staring at your converted bracelet into a necklace. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can do that with so many things. And just imagine grabbing some chain cuts with all those thick bracelet chains mm -hmm. and making those necklaces out of even this right here. You could use the leaves and the little charms and the little sunflower, the mushroom, the little bead caps. That could just be a stunning one. Yeah, you could make that same concept. This oh, yeah, one Karen, too. For sure, purse charm. I think that this is a really good one if you're trying to get like your um, granddaughters or daughters or nieces into jewelry making, and yeah, these all work just straight up as pendants. Like even, yeah. um, you know, like this one is ready to just hang on a chain. Everything essentially can just be hung on a chain. And it's a yep. completed necklace, so especially have you guys this. Noticed how a lot of the younger um, designers are hashtagging like Y2K jewelry, which is fun because that's like when we launched Vintage. Yeah, I know. Like, it right is in funny. the middle of like all the hand beaded craze. Yeah, we are Y2K. Yep. Oh yeah, Cindy. Yes, the filigree earrings that Mackie made, and that's. Maggie, from jewel school i put them on already yeah, we i put them on up them to while you were in the ago. bathroom i put but you can use it as a necklace like you i always thought of using that as your earrings as we a, were just gonna make them bite too <laughs> so <laughs> they could do earrings <laughs> but yes how about three and add a bracelet mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, yes, exactly. There's a couple of big focals in here, and I'm a big at earring person, so. <laughs> well, the earrings when I sold them on there, they were at least sixty five. Yeah, sixty five, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you and could that was just buy. A long time ago. It was a long time yes. ago. So maybe eighty five now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All oh. finished. Yeah. Maybe more. Or more. Because of tripling in the metal costs. Our inflation. Inflation is just like the metal inflation. It's yeah. everything. Everything let's, let's is just be honest. <laughs> super yeah. inflated in price. Oh yeah, you're right, Cindy. I remember that. Oops, I accidentally started that comment. Um, Kim, the the co-presenter. Co oh, just rehit it. Yeah, we can pop their comments up there, which is crazy. Oops. Oh, anyway, the the and the um presenter Kim. Loved that pair of. That's so funny. You've got a really good memory, Cindy. Wait. That's awesome. I just saw that because I'm delayed. That's super fun if you want to just pop someone's comment. Yeah, if up we want to talk about a comment and then we can just <clears throat> pop it up there. Oh, like the comment goes on the screen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so well, if let's you tap it, it with this one just for fun. Oh my there. Yeah. See. Okay. So yeah, Cindy watched our old Jill school. Um, my old jewel school, like, what, 12 years ago? Pop her and comment up. And with those teal, I did. Oh. With those teal oh, earrings, <laughs> the presenter, Kim, wanted to um, steal those from me, which I probably even gifted her a pair, I'm sure. So that's so cool that we can pull the comment up. Did this is see? so professional. It's weird. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Monica said that her nephew's taking jewelry making in school. He's going to do a fire torch enameling class with her. Cool. Ooh, so fine. guess what? We do fire torch enameling, but without the heat. And you just use the paint set. It, being creative as a kid is so important it to is. your development. And being realistic, too, with your projects, that's why we all love jewelry making so much is because you can be done with a project in 20 minutes, and it's, like, a really fully flushed, gorgeous thing. So 
jewelry is a really great way to get into the arts. Mm -hmm. So that's so funny. Okay, guys, that's a full layout. You obviously can do different things with that. Even I could just switch this out and this could be on here. Um, and you could rip it on can here. Can we take a or, minute before we do the OAKs and can we ask? How is your guys' experience with the cart? Do you like I just it? Want to go full screen. Sure, whatever you want. Yeah. Oh, it's Missy, so it's probably because you're on YouTube currently. Um, I think that when we pop yeah, the comment up, might... it's just for Facebookers. Well, they should be able. They can see it too on there. Her screen, it's chopping it off, so oh. she might have to do, go oh, in a different I see. view. Different so angle. So maybe she turns her screen, or depending on what device she's on, mm -hmm. or like just like if it's on full screen or not. It might be a setting that you have. Sawyer, does it look any different on the PC for you? Are you seeing the whole thing when you look at it on YouTube? Yeah, because on my I, phone, I know it's fine. When, I'm, but, when I'm on it, it just gives me the, like, mobile view on a, with, like, black sides. Okay. All right, OAK okay. time? That's so you can see the whole cart 106 at the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can. I want to just do something really fun and quick. Um, Mac, I want to show this kit what they get for um, what a kit would look like. We already did that on no, the screen, like, but just for hear me out for craziness sake. Show that kit, and that is $44 because it's completely curated into a kit. And remember that, remember this image. Oh, I see. Yeah. When we get to Mackie's one of a kind lots. Yikes. That are just barely double this. So, this is our craziest part of our lives. Yes. It's, well, how about I just leave it at the top of the screen? Well, because you're going to have a lot to show. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. It, um, oh, do we have that? Remember we loved that um, other board, the green one? Yeah. I'll find it. It's right here. These beautiful... This is what we did here with these beautiful bottles. This is what we did here. Oh, uh, no, um, not that one. The, um, oh, not this board? Oh, yeah, the board. Oh. But what, are you, what about the bottles? You just, just wanted just to show? I was show how pretty they match. Because we made that in a master class with our paints. And look how pretty they ma match those authentic ancient bottles. Yeah, these are Roman um, bottles which have the most amazing feel ever. Oh, what are your ones that you made? I never made. You mean the fairy bottles? Yeah, where are those? Behind you. What are you looking for? Oh, in right here. There. Just grab the whole thing. Yeah, how Mackie made these. Oh. I mean, they're obviously not Roman bottles, but they're cool, and they're kind of meant to look And you similar. made them with the uh, paints. This was a project. Um, yeah, the fairy bottles. Fairy oh, perfume I bottles. I loved that. I loved that kit. Jean, is that, do we have any of those kits left on our it? live shop? The fairy bottles. Yes. Oh, yeah, you do. guys got to go to the Wait, live let, shop. Let me, let me make sure. <laughs> Last time I looked. Yeah. You have to go to the live shop. If you missed this fairy bottle kit, oh my gosh. Incredible. That was fun. And Jean, you've been linking the live with the live shop pieces lately. I loved that. Yeah, so. You can go right, you buy the kit, you go right to the live that it was on. Yeah. That's so, so much work. Thank you for doing that. it's over, we do that. Um, now that we have Carter, we won't have to do that. Because right. Because you'll be able to comment in it. Pop right up, yeah. yeah. And, so, you know, I was thinking things that we have enough of, um, a few of, maybe we could have a a day that we feature them all and yeah, put like, them all on Carter. Oh, right? that's From a great shop. idea. That'd be fun. I love it. Carter is going to make our sales a lot easier. Yeah. And so we can focus all of our time on idea. creating cool things, right? Yeah, for sure. All right, Mac, are you ready? I love how you did this last time, too. It was super fun. I liked it on the board, yeah. Yep.
I really liked it. So, no, I'm going to yeah, get some We have salad. eight of them left. The ancient goddess. Eight left? Cool. Yep. Guys, go get them. They're, on, the live shop they're under design mixes. Um, like page two. So, we're not trying to throw the this under the bus, but we really need to just keep that up there for perspective sizing No, because wise. that is an actual kit, so it's not like, these are curated, but that's an actual kit. Yep. All right, so just going to start laying out my first OAK, and I'm going to do, am I going to do all of them today or just a few? Now these... Jean, do you want, oh, we've got OAK, cart 107. Now, here's how it's gonna work. Quickly, we'll just explain it so you're not, so it's not confusing. Um, what you're gonna do is, Logan is moderating, and the first one that comments, just like normal, you're gonna comment um, with the lot number, but then right after you see the star by your name, if you've won it, you're gonna type in cart 107 and everybody's going to type in cart 107 if you have a star but we've written down your name so not to worry about it we'll keep track of who wins it so yeah. if you win one then add this add to it to your, your cart. cart but yep. you're going to comment with the lot number does yeah, that make lot, sense you guys just like, just like normal you're going to comment with the lot number and if you win it, you're gonna comment cart 107. So, so I like like to think of these as D stash lots. So, your opportunity hey. to get rid of some of our bulk, but I do spend the time to um, curate them into really gorgeous. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the cart 107 off the screen for now. And at the very end of all of them, I'll put cart 107 yeah. up. So we're going to keep that off. You guys just remember it's going to be the lot number. Ainsley, can you do a special text on this? Like just put lot three or lot five or whatever. Is that possible on screen? I think we, we can I know just, how. We can just write it. Okay. Great. There you go. So guys, if you're starting to see some of this... It's always fun how we have thousands of pieces and we'll end up, I'll end up throwing in matches like yeah. they're this fairy, but there's also a pack. How funny is that? Oh, where did that shell go? That was so pretty last time that we did the beads in. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's behind mom right there. Okay, yeah. I just thought it was showed off your little did. piece I, more so Yeah, well. looking Thank for you. something mm -hmm. to. So. I think you can do a text box. That's what Everything I'm... Everything that you are seeing on screen... Here, wait, we'll wait, I'm leaving one. that oh, okay. on purpose. Okay. Because <laughs> we're doing this as perspective. So this oh, is okay. a... Gotcha. This is a kit, which is high value, right? But then it's just hard, so hard to show how just how much you're getting. Yeah. But perspective-wise, that is a high-valued kit, but then this is your... OAK lot so it is a huge lot and then not only this on the screen but I made these bead packs that also go in in it so everything on screen minus obviously our perspective up there in the top corner is a hundred dollars we're getting Swarovski vintage beads little um curated bead packs you might as well start out with a lot and if they if they um Claim more than one lot, then they'll we'll just change the, the quantity. I don't know if I can. I'll see. Peggy, you don't have to. Peggy has assumed that she's getting one, but she <coughs> puts part 107 down. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm winning. I'm getting one. Okay. So if you um, nice. claim more than one, you'll just uh, change the quantity. Yep. So those are the beads. And Ooh, all Mackie, of that these is metals. a carved glass vintage bead or vintage hexagon. This I know. Wow. <coughs> and that's amazing. Yeah, that's a gemstone heart too. So yeah, quantity wise, 
kind of unreal and also it's coming with a mini chain um, cut or chains chains full ends blanks pack so this is a great send that, Mac. I think you're ready it's looking gorgeous here you go you ready for the number yeah yep all right lot four Sorry, it's gonna be covering you. Here, I'll just turn it's, your. No, it's fine. Leave it. It's fine. I can just take her off. The... Oh, true. Oh, good idea. Because they'll want to see that corner yeah. anyway. Lot four. So go ahead and comment lot four. Okay. It's gonna take me a year just to put these things all back in the bowl. <laughs> Probably sick of seeing me anyway. It's fine. I think. Yeah. Or I just like the big. It's fine me. for Here this like point in time. I like the big okay. Miss America yeah. ribbon across Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> I represent. And I can just number four. just when we have the number up, we can um. Well, it's take good her off. Cause it's good because I can use that area to. You want show. me to just leave it? Yeah. Just the. Okay. Do you have that bag? Oh yeah, lot four. Great. Okay. Thank you. So lots of carded on this then I made solid brass little sampler packs I love that little butterfly in there so much so I've been packing these out really nice for you guys um, kind of a little more organized than usual another blanks pack this one has one of the earrings done you just have to complete the other earring thought that was fun chain sampler and a little vintage thank you that was perfect how that worked so robin won it she saw her star and she then typed in cart 107 good for you robin. perfect Ooh, that's cool and we will handle that all in the background i'm going to be so. typing out Robin's name immediately and putting it on the lot so Logan doesn't even have to oh yeah couple Logan of these so yeah. all of the lots today have the green girl B the um the tree and two of these filigree butterflies so I included that in every single lot today and then the rest should all be different all right, now this is, mom did our two reds right in a row, so. Oops. Yes, I did, because um, I thought it might be nice if anybody wanted that red right away. Those were cool, I loved those. Lucite Vintage, these are freshwater pearls, speaking of. Swarovski, that was a really cool art glass thing. And then all of these vintage and gemstone um, bead mix. So there's all your beads. And lot, you got our lot number ready? Yep, right there. Okay, lot five. Go ahead, comment lot five for this one. Do, do, do. So crazy. <laughs> Logan's complaining about Cassie's mechanical keyboard. <clears throat> this goes to uh, sorry. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, I, I should. I know what that is. I just have to wait for. Uh, and I'll take the bag when you guys are ready. 
carded, all vintage Vogue carded items today, by the way, which is really fun. I see you came like this. Yeah, it's the same, like one solid brass too. sampler with a gorgeous butterfly and some really awesome drops. Lots of goodies there. Huge blanks pack, mini chain sampler. This really cool vintage <laughs> bracelet, which would look amazing with the bracelet stacks today. intimidated by the cart process or the lot process, just go ahead and dive in and we'll help you through it. Sometimes when there's something new, I just feel like it's a little intimidating. It's a sometimes. little intimidating, but once you've just, do you mind picking those? There's so off? many people on here that are even viewing that will help you through. Also, Whatever. Logan's keeping track of everyone's orders on the back end, so if things do screw up, we'll Yes. Yeah. Good wow. call. These are amethyst chunks, by the way. Really gorgeous bead mix here. Okay. So this is my lucky number three. Lot three. It's so quiet. Mm -hmm. This is where we always get quiet. You know why, Mackie? Because we're all staring at, at the all screen. All the treasure? And mesmerized yes. with them. I know, it's a lot. Kind of a lot. So that bit blanks pack that you put in there, mm -hmm. we sell those for how much? $28. Just $30 for that alone. Just for the blanks pack, which is already highly discounted. Mm hmm. Thank you. I'm just gonna assume mm -hmm. that's that blank pack. Yep. Chain pack, solid brass sampler. These are most of these have this clear um, top drill for Oski Bicone. This cute bracelet again. Mackie, what are some of the things that you would make out of these? Um, like, oh man, everything? <laughs> I don't know. This is, oh, what do you mean? Like that moon right it's there, for reach. instance. You would, would you cold enamel in that and... Oh, like, like just pick up some things to fun talk about? Yeah. This would be really cool as like a clustery, like hanging some cool vintagey finds from the bottom, kind of clustering down with a key. I mean, that's like a huge huge value necklace and it's only five of the over 100 pieces yeah. that you're getting in these so this kind of crazy value wise that moon cluster looks like a kirk's folly i know you imagine this just adding too. a couple of um crystal bicones and some beautiful cold enamel in there with our paints and then you're talking Kirk's Folly clusters, they go for like 70 bucks. For sure. You can't even get them. So this doesn't even have our beads on screen yet. And that one, those beads go perfectly with the your 10 shell. piece. Yeah, oh. and. Oh, with the thing today, yes. Yeah, your True. 10 piece moon glow glimmer. This oh, one get is out for me. Thank you. freakishly out of control. I mean, man. Wait till you see the beads come on your Look screen. at that. Yeah, isn't that amazing to wrap? Oh, that's beautiful. 
Okay. And you got that? All right, lot eight. Lot eight. I wonder if I can just pick up this whole thing and funnel it in. Yeah, that wasn't bad. today right well I had made 11 so oh, we can 11. do 10 if you want we'll see we'll see how they go and guys this is the end of our sale too by the way of our day sale and demo oh, that feels so weird doesn't it I know so used to having DIY after it's crazy that we've this one's gonna be shorter than last Wednesday. Yeah. Well, last Wednesday's was very long. Yeah. We had a lot of stuff to do. Mm -hmm. We did have a lot to yeah, do. Yeah, you demonstrated a lot. Yeah. Can I just say, though, I also feel like... The system is helping us yes. go faster. Yes, for sure. Owen, Logan, we are labeling everything right on the lot. As soon as they win it, we're putting their name on it after we see your star. Should we, um, like, in my comments, do you want to get a star to remind them to add a... Yes. Go ahead. Every, yeah. every, everyone has done it immediately. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I've seen it. We okay. definitely can if... We I've seen it, though. If, we, if they... Uh, Need reminding. It's hard yeah. for me to see on, on oh, what I'm looking at. Have, yeah. Yeah. You mean you can't see a giant screen on your little phone? <laughs> oh, I know. Whoa. We did that last uh -huh. night, Lori. We finished our tacos last night. I haven't started yet. Are you guys <laughs> pre-buying pre for your returns? That's what I'd be doing right Heck now. Yeah. Okay. Beads. Lot. Lot so, number you know what 10 was, we've got. You know Lot number 10. Would be the cutest thing, Monkey. Imagine, you know those little eggs that they do, the plastic eggs, and you do a treasure hunt? Mm -hmm. What if you bought one of these lots and you just put all the pieces in a little plastic egg for be like cool. a girl's party? That would be cool. If like we, a girl's party. If yes. there was like enough people in Boise, if we did like a... Some people do that. They do like treasure hunts. You drop your product in different places and leave clues, and the first person to get to it gets it. That's cool. Okay. And you, you bring it back and you make go. it into jewelry. Exactly. <laughs> What the heck, Maggie? I I'll just the next saw that one going through. Holy moly. Good, huh? Yes. Oh, wait. We shouldn't put the lot number until I've put it's it down. It's not in. Right? It's oh, not I have to click to turn it on. Got it. Perfect. And all you have to do is one button. Yeah. What is in that solid brass pack? There's so much in that. And there's so a much lot. in the blanks pack. I know, it's a lot. They're a little crazy. Yeah. You are always crazy. And now the beads. Ah. You could, I mean, honestly, you could like open up a bead store. Just from buying Just a few of these. Just from buying these lots. I know. And you can sell them all off as specialty because they are. Yeah, you can. Like put them on a card as on their own and they're just beautiful. Like well, this and this. Each of those that, pieces like that. seven to ten bucks. Each of the brass pieces. Absolutely. 
All right, lucky number seven, lot seven. That's a beautiful abalone piece. So what I'm thinking, Mac, is why don't we save the rest of the lots for Friday? The last three? For Friday's sale, yeah. Okay, sure. That sound good? All right. We're cutting them off, ladies. Okay, I'm popping to you full screen. Okay. Oh, wait, do I want to show this quick, Mom? Yes. With our... Okay, I wanted to show you one more thing with... Um... Am I in the corner of this one? Yes. Okay, I wanted to show you this quickly with our paint set today, you can do. So this is um, Moonstone, Iridescent Violet, Iridescent Green, and teeny, teeny touches of Scarab Wing. So that is just layered over and over and over again. Oh, so that is so beautiful with this kit. Ainsley, can you pop this, up the kit? Oh, you did. This <laughs> is my little pottery that I made on a terracotta pot. Oh yeah, Joanne, if you, um, so I'm gonna make a little list and I'm gonna add in a little extra extra since Joanne remembered, I'm gonna put it on a tab and I'll add it to your orders. Did you order during the live today, Joanne, or did you pre-order? It shouldn't, it won't matter. I you also know, ordered added a pre -order. our blanks pack to your um, collection there if we wanted to show that um, oh. because Mackie did the <coughs> yeah, butterfly. Yeah, we can talk about can that really good. Oh, smart. Um, can you show your example Are of you what done you did with on these your guys? butterfly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So... We still have our Mega Raku blanks assortment because we just have so many of these blanks. And so we're just going to show you um, what you can do with that. We did the demonstration earlier, but you can totally do this look with any of those. Which I actually have that um, Sun one too that we didn't include. I did a few other... Oh, yeah, where is that? Um, they may be sitting over there. There's a leaf. Maybe in that tray on the table, the wood tray, there's a leaf and a sun, too. Oh, Mackie, we keep putting a capital A in Joanne's yeah. name. Is that the way it is, or is it Joanne with a small a? Sun and here. <clears throat> so these are, whoops, all done with the colors from today. So you can do, I lo actually loved the sun. Um, this one I just used Petalite, um, white gold, and I think that's it. Yeah, white gold, Petalite, and the iridescent violet, uh, and rose gold. So that one was really cool. I loved this on the star, which I did on the necklace as well. So same technique, <clears throat> just using a few of the different colors from the paint set. This one and this one are using Scarab Wing, Moonstone, Turquoise, and the Aged Bronze. I love that dimensional look you're getting These ones there. with rose gold it's instead. It's so beautiful. Oh, Mackie, did you say that you wanted everybody to like the main video? Because that, that would be helpful to more people. Yes. It'd be <clears throat> amazing. Can you guys heart our main video? And that way more people can see. Oh, I just love how that got all crusty when I... And um, I didn't really take the chance to explain it. But we were able to preserve. So like usually without that top layer of resin. This would have just eventually settled back down into the piece. But we were able to preserve it with using that thin layer of resin so it's keeping its shape. Lucine's wondering if there's any purple in the sun because the, 
The kit doesn't have purple. It does. It has um, iridescent violet. So is it, and, I mean, it doesn't have bright purple. And chalcedony. So is and it the, the But I didn't use it, no. And the iridescent per mm -hmm. violet. Yeah, the violet, It's yeah. just the iridescent violet. Oh, it turned, like, that. under the UV light, it went super Violet. bright Whoa. neon so and same with the petalite it almost turned neon pink so whatever whatever the uv lamp did it really just pulled out all of the brightest pigments from right. those two colors mackie are you gonna show your gorgeous pot i did she did show what? it yep. how did i miss that because right, you're just right busy we... wait put the Selfies. sun up on the pot i want to see oh, the if sun you on the pot would be cute sun. yes oh because the blanks are cheap Yes, because yes. you got a whole thing. Of I'm going to put those on all of my plant pots everywhere. Yeah. And you would just shape it um, and glue it. That would be so cute. Good idea. My and a butterfly, too. Is, what do you guys think of our first? Did you like this? Did you like this style? I mean, I really... I liked it, personally. I liked it. I loved it. I Hopefully, your checkout is easy. Honestly... So what we want you to do is email live shop at vintage.com if you have any questions about checking out. We'll make sure you get your stuff. Don't worry. This is just day one of our very brand new platform. And so we're fun. super excited about taking the time to bring you guys more com um, content. Because before this, we had about 14 hours combined between all of our um, staff invoicing. in invoicing. Right. <laughs> Just <laughs> getting the audits, the extrapolation of the comments, and then auditing, and then the invoicing, draft invoicing, and everything. And now this one program does it all. So we just want to make sure we're saving the time to give you better and more designs. So they just need to click through and follow through the comment in, in their um, chat bot, right? Yep. In order to complete their order. Yep. They'll need to go into the chats to actually complete the order. Yep. Yep. Here's the, here is the directions. And the directions is in the comment. I can comment. put it on here physically. Mm -hmm. Here. Might be fun for them the to first, see. The yeah. first, yeah. Ooh, Karen says she did bit. that with votive holders for the holidays as gifts. Oh, so fun. Nice vintage and brooches I bought. They came out too pretty. Yeah. So if you have any questions about it, it's in the pinned comment, but here it is also. Yep. So do you want to go over it? You want to talk you about it? You have my sheet, so no. It's cool. We're cool. You don't have it right there? No, I have. that's it. That one I gave you. I can see if there's an extra one over here, over here of jeans. Did everybody yeah. for the OAKs get like the proper code for it? It looked like it. Sawyer thought okay. so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so. Okay, awesome. So honestly, you just need to check your messenger cart if or your messenger chat if you typed cart and a number. Then you click start, click your quantity, and then click check out. And then you can. You're on um, screen, by the way. Check out. Uh huh. I'm reading it, and you can check out that way, and then just finish and enjoy all your, all your purchases. So. Yay, guys! Thank yeah. you for. We're really excited for you. Oh, Monica, we will combine the shipping fees, for you if you did that. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. You guys are not going to incur shipping fees. And we're going to be working on shipping thresholds and, you know, improving that yeah. as, as we go along. So, yeah. I think we're going to do it where if you purchase two things, like over $50, you'll get free shipping. So then you can just not even worry about shipping. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you can check out as many times as you want. But, you know, however you want to do it. We want to make sure it's good Are for we you doing guys. free shipping for today? No. Not today. Yeah, we, it, next time. It already, well, we're, we are going to combine your shipping. You won't get two, chi two charges. Don't worry about yeah, that. We right. just have to figure out how to make the system okay. recognize that. So we that. don't have to go in later. But yeah. we will, for today's purchases, we're going to be combining pre-orders 
along with any multiple checkouts from today. So you're gonna get one package. We'll do all the work in the behind the scenes to make that happen. Okay, well, that is going to wrap up our live for the day. Just wanted to switch back around and say thank you for watching. I'm so glad I'm seeing comments that the checkout was re really easy. Yes, Yay. that's so yeah, good. good. We're so know. glad because yeah. that's going to be really good for any new people too because we want to get we should quick put this on so we can each wear the color. Oh, oh okay. Here's a sneak yeah. peek of Friday. So this will happen Friday. on Friday. Do you want to, you can explain yeah, you guys what it come is. Yeah, you back for Friday. So all I'm going to do is tell you the name of our special Fridays. Um, but it's, we're going to be doing every so often a vintage, vintage vault. Triple V. So I'm wearing this. Um, and it's super rare super rare warm tone version of the rare i mean the whole thing is rare we used um this vintage filigree here those nepali beads or where did yep. you yep seed bead All strand from nepal and rose this quartz. um what do you call those quartz and guard oh that uh the art the japan dichroic art glass mm -hmm. from the 40s yeah that's insane each one of those squares, you just can't find them, like, ever. That pendant right there, just the stone alone is 30 bucks. Just the stone is $30. Yes, and there's two of them on and it. And there's two of Plus them. Plus gemstones on each garnet on mine, moonstone on Ainsley's. So these are really super, super precious designs yeah. that we did. And there are not going to be a ton available, so... Um, keep that in mind. They're going to be on Friday. For Friday. And they're going to be um, $75 each. And you can make a bracelet out of it if you don't want the double. So bracelet necklace. And I have a really surprise for the earrings that you guys are going to freak out about. It has something to do with the live I did last night. If you want to go back, Ooh. I showed a little uh, beat. Not a little, but a super old bead strand that I've been waiting to use. Really? Yes, and that's going to be the pair of earrings if they buy both. And we'll be putting a, that says a lot. post up of this. I'm going to quick do a close up for Yeah, and we net you guys, anyway. we have pictures of them. We are going to Yeah, we have our photos taken. Post those today. But here is just some nice little sneak peek for the people who stayed on and I promise you I would not sell this necklace for under $300 retail that is a guarantee definitely not I mean it's there's no way and guess it's what you're getting high, both high, the stones high this. both the Never. stones in it are pre-wrapped I'm wrapping them for mom you. yeah mom is what? wrapping yeah I'm wrapping the stone so that you get both pendants and would you not just buy both? Because one is cool tone and one is warm, one is warm tone. They're both so amazing. I would probably wear them together. <laughs> <laughs> I would put an extender on and because I'm into the, yeah, the layers, layers. lately. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so you know what we're going to do? We are going to be recording. This is going to be new and super fun. We're going to record a video that you can buy these on instead of our pre-order. That will be our pre-order. That's going to be tomorrow. We're, we're going to record it um, maybe even this afternoon or tomorrow. And then we're going to get them up by tomorrow afternoon. And that's going to be the pre-order. And that should be able to carry over into Friday. But we'll see. So Friday is really just going to be, uh, that's it. We're just going to show that on Friday, right? Cool. Sounds yeah. good. And then our two others. Oh yeah, and our, our special, just, oh, special yeah. limited. Only ten. Only ten, and they're design mixes. Design mixes, a little more expensive, but they are loaded for the price. Super loaded. Super loaded. You guys are gonna go crazy over That's them. That's Friday only. We're not gonna do a pre-order on that. Correct. Yay! So don't miss Friday, and look for tomorrow for there to be one of these video purchases. Mm -hmm. I'm Fine. really excited to try that. Super fun. Okay, let's say 
Bye. This will be our first time ending off of one of these. Monica do you know how to do it? Yes, I do. Okay. Snacky. Okay. We're just oh, going to we'll okay. just press the stop button. So once we say bye. All right, guys. Thank you again so much. And yes, you can buy both. By the way, anyone commenting that, you can buy both when we come out with that. So thank you so much for Is the only whole 15 big page? day. Are there only 15 of each? Or I don't 18 know. of one and 14 of another? Something like it's that. It's around like that. Very Nothing limited. crazy. Um, nothing crazy, uh, quantity wise. So yeah. be ready to, uh, comment for those. So thank you so much. Have an amazing Wednesday and we will see you in a couple days, Bye. maybe even tomorrow if you're lucky. Yep. <laughs>